Welcome to Snowmobile Sessions Live on YouTube and your favorite podcast platform. We're the number one destination to learn about snowmobiling, network with other sledders, and have an awesome time doing it. We'll meet other snowmobilers that share your passion and show your fan photos along the way. Snowmobile Sessions Live. Enjoy the ride. It's a journey. This episode of Snowmobile Sessions Live is brought to you by Energy Power Sports. They're Oakville's full, full line BRP dealer with sales and service to all BRP models and so much more. They're still trying to build up that following on YouTube. So make sure you search them up on YouTube after this podcast and, and give them a subscribe and hit that like button. They got lots of stuff going on. And, uh, and also they've got an awesome Instagram and Facebook uh, page as well so hit them up on that as well and it's also brought to you by fast track snowmobile traction products i know it's late in the season but you know you've already spring ordered your sled for next year so you might as well order the studs now so there's no rush and no delay and that offer still stands for that free toolkit so put the studs and backers for your new sled in the cart add the toolkit then use the coupon code SNOW, S-N-O-W, at the checkout. And those uh, that toolkit and pieces are absolutely free. And uh, that's at fasttrack.co, F-A-S-T-T-R-A-C.co. And we'll learn more about them because they sponsor the fan photos. All right, guys, how's it going? Let's see who's, let's see who's in the house here. And uh, listen, I hope you got your hair combed, guys, because I'm going to post up a link. You can see I'm actually co-hostless again. So why don't we let some of you guys on air here? So if you want to jump on and join me on screen, then by all means, let's do it. And let's uh, let's have a good time. So I'm going to post this right in the chat. And uh, and when you guys uh, when you guys see it, just uh, click it. And if I like you, I'll let you in. If I hate you, I'll keep you kicked out. You know how it goes. But here, let me just post this right here. Boom. There you go. So let's see who's in the house here tonight. Let's see. We got Corey Brock. Yep. Hung out with him on the weekend, too. We looked at the motorcycle show in Toronto. Pro Polaris Rob. Hey, everyone. Renegade X, of course. There you go hand in hand. Uh, what else we got here? We got, uh, I seen another name here. Tim V. We got some pictures from Tim coming up. And, uh, oh, geez. Corey Brock. Mike Gooley's. Hey, Mike. How's it going? Dominator. He's sending some photos as well. Tim Druin. Uh, snowstorm. Hey, good to see you. Skidoo 600 or Olive Garden Gnome. They're all coming into Michigan. Outlaws is in the house too. And Uncle Buck, of course he is. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. So he's already planning for next season, Pro Polaris. Well, listen, we are planning as well. Corey and I were having a couple beers yesterday at lunch and talking about the beer spa and we're both bummed that it didn't go. And, uh, we had a good time up in Sudbury and they're pretty much guaranteed snow. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the event next year in February. So don't book any big trips until you book with us. And we're going to do it at a place called the Sportsman Lodge. It's right on a lake. It's freaking rustic as hell. They got old snowmobiles hanging from the ceiling. No riding them. And the owner's a hoot. So we're going to get him on and we're going to uh, we're going to see. Hey, we got our first guest on screen here. Buddy, it's Drew. What's How's up, it? buddy? <laughs> How's it going, bud? Pretty good, all, pretty good. All, just got all finished, from Windsor. Uh, finished some of my classes, and I saw you're streaming, and you're like, post up the stream yard <laughs> link. So I was like, F it, let's hop in here. And that's cool. That's good. So do you have a good season snowmobile? That's what this is about tonight. Oh, I had, yeah, yeah, I think I had a pretty good season, considering I was uh, at school, right? Like, uh -huh. you know, for in 2,500 kilometers. Is what I yeah, did. You good. did over three thousand. It was an awesome yeah, season. That's good. Tim V good also up, said good times up in Kirkland Lake and good times up in Sudbury with Corey Brock and yeah. Shannon Corey... and Neil and Kirkland Lake and you know Grant. Grant and his pals oh yeah and Grant. And that was fun Grant too. First time. Yeah, we awesome. got to get Corey and Grant together next year for sure. Oh, uh, sure. Corey says my man Drew Porter. Yeah. Oh, there he's got one. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. So. We're gonna we're gonna start and instead of mud brats, it's gonna be called car brats now because we're working on Drew's car right now. Yeah, yeah. So 
Click that link, Michigan Outlaws. Let's get you on screen. Trent Campbell says, hello, boys. There's a new name. Jeff Udick, he says, hey, Gary. Nice. So, yeah, and, uh, yep, so we're uh, we're just sitting here. I was going to just go over some of the things that we did this year on the podcast. I, I'm just going to actually open up another window here. You guys won't see it, but I will. And uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see how we're doing here. But yeah, like we started the, the year off with Dave Nerona. That was a fun show. Oh, look at you got your snowmobile or television shirt yeah, on. That, that's that's kind of timely. Yeah. Yeah. We, let me see. Let, we're gonna go through these episodes here. So it was uh it was Dave Nerona kicked it off. He's a hoot. I love Dave Nerona, he's a good guy. And I mean, we don't even have to ask him twice. He come on and supports us uh a hundred percent. So cheers to Dave Nerona. And then we had we had our, our best show. I would like not a best show, but I mean, our most popular show was absolutely John Sherrard from uh, Accelerated Technologies. And John yeah, Sherrard is, uh, yeah, that was a good one. And people are still commenting and writing in and saying how awesome that is and what a great guy he is. And and I've heard nothing but but good things from him. Grant, he's actually gone and talked to him about getting some torsion springs. So I believe they're on order for him. And I mean, that, that, episode seen over 4,000 views. So it's, uh, he was rocking. He's, he probably got a lot of good feedback from it. And then uh, the next one we went into, uh, we had, uh, the, the CEO of ghost snowmobile in Ontario, the, the, uh, Ontario Federation of snowmobile clubs. And, uh, yeah, dominator, you can call in on your iPad or cell phone and you don't need, if you're, if you don't feel comfortable with your camera on, you can shut your camera off and we'll just hear your voice not your, uh, not your, um, your picture, but we'd love to see your face for sure. Yeah. That was a great show The Ryan from the OFSC was awesome. And then, uh, the next one we had MBRP and that was funny cause, uh, they didn't understand what the, what the live stream was all about. So they ended up showing up at Rich's house in Toronto oh, to, to do it. That was, that was nutty. I wish Rich was here to tell the story. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that was crazy that it was, down to the last few minutes and and the um and i was going to rich like have you heard from them yet have you heard from jared yet like like i haven't even seen hiding her hair of them and and we're we're going live and then next thing you know it was like there's a knock on my door hold on and rich goes and gets a door and it's those guys so it was pretty funny uh from there we had the polaris ambassadors and that was cool we always love that having cool yeah nuns is good he's a really good guy and uh you know, are you going to play something for us that won't get me a copyright strike or what? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm that good, right? Yeah, 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 I'm that good. Yeah, maybe we that, wouldn't. That so. my playing will uh would get a copyright strike yeah. for sure. I'll uh, I'll let you know a secret. I, I'm going to try and do a Bar Larry Burial cover for my my next video. Not the next one. The yeah, the one after. The, I'm I'm working on it, but it's it's tough, right? So. Man, I should have kept my drum set then. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> you you well, wouldn't uh, be able to play the. Larry oh, Barrow, they're too heavy, but yeah, Nunzio is always good from the Polaris and Basses. He brought along three or four friends, so that was really cool. And uh, and away we go. Oh, look at who's on! Right on, buddy. Turn what your phone side. Turn your phone <laughs> sideways. There we go, Corey there Brock. We go. Right on his his debut on snowmobile <laughs> session. What's we have not much, man. Yeah. Did you work today or did you just kick back and oh, I can see my double chin on this thing, eh? I know it's awesome. Raise your phone up Full so you HD. look down. Yeah. Joe, <laughs> what do I gotta there, do here? There you go. Yeah, just cut your chin off. There you go. Just hold your phone up higher. We didn't uh, want you on, we wanted Shannon on. What are you doing? Oh, uh, she's upstairs doing the la doing laundry and cooking. Oh, nice. <laughs> right, right. So what was your favorite episode, Corey? Like, did you have one? Uh I mean, you've seen them all. You're you're in the chat every. We really appreciate that too, man. Yeah, you're in, you know what? I really like the. Uh, I don't know the. I like. I'm not a huge uh, like parts and accessory kind of guy, so I like ones with a lot of, you know, information. I really like the OFSC, the Ryan, just because I'm a big part of the OFSC, and. Um, yeah, he was good. Yeah. I was I was wondering that could have went either way, right? Yeah, and just you know, the different places to go and, and stuff like that. I don't know. I like the ambassador stuff. And yeah, Corey Jinx was so. fun last week and, and MJ is always a hoot. Can't yeah. forget about her. I mean, that's uh that was cool. 
Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah for man. sure. J Jesse James 322. Did you see the link I posted in there, Jesse? You can get on the screen. Let's see how that mullet's doing. <laughs> it's got it's gotta be good by now. But yeah, the uh yeah, like you, you just like the ones that are more like uh like destination related and that kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm not too I don't know, I'm not up on the you know the 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 parts and accessory kind of stuff, so and tuning and, and stuff like that. So yeah, no, so. no, that's cool. Mm -hmm. The uh what was as far as riding goes, you've done a lot of how many kilometers you put on this year, should I ask? Well, do we need to ask? You did a lot. You did way more than I did. That's I did for sure. 40, 4,300, um, cut short a little bit due to, you know, a few unforeseen circumstances, but, um, yeah, other than that, it was good. I, I had a great season, you know, so yeah. I can't, can't complain. No, it might not be over yet either. Right. Uncle well, Buck said the Canes quest was awesome. The honorary new female. Yeah. But no one sent me in for their certificate. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Right. Right. You're supposed to send me for your, your uh, screeched in snowmobile sessions certificate. And I didn't have one person respond. Dallas, you want to say so. hi? Come here. Oh, Dallas. Cool. Dallas is my number one fan. It's Gary. So when you, uh, how's it going, Dallas? Good. Yeah. Hi. What are you up to? Did you get any snowmobiling in this year, Dallas? Yeah. Yeah. Who'd you go with? Daddy, I think. Hmm. And and your mom as well, right? You went on mommy's, right? Yeah. Yeah. Does mom does mommy drive faster than dad or what? No. No. <laughs> Who do you? Daddy she drives fast. I know. I seen it with my own eyes. <laughs> she rocks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, Kane's Quest was pretty cool. Maybe Dallas will be in Kane's Quest one day. Yeah. Maybe. Eh. Yeah. Hey, what time is it? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, buddy. Seven. Wow. <laughs> I love how families get around. From uh, from there, we had like uh, Jeff Steenbackers from Snowmobile Television. That was a good one too. That was my favorite one by far. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. I cool. That that guy I awesome. like. He's a. Uh, at least, at least Gary can keep up the Dallas on his ski do. Lol. Yeah. I won't next year. I can't say why, but I won't be able to next year. Hey, eh, Corey. Yeah. Dallas will be leaving me sitting. Yeah, there's yeah. Something, something coming. First ever kid on snowmobile sessions. LOL. It's a family show, that's for sure. Yeah. Jeff was fun to talk to. He was a good guy. I and he's been posting videos of him racing. Um, I think it's just on Instagram or Facebook, and it's pretty cool to see the 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 uh the the uh, camera inside of his car. There he, where's your hair, man? It's all gone. I chopped it all off. Why'd you do that? Um, I was actually home one weekend this winter. It's the only weekend I was home and I was bored and that was it. There it went. That's wild. Yeah. And I have you posted any videos with your short hair? Like I have to apologize. I haven't watched much no, of any, no, any it YouTube crazy. lately. It was a crazy year. I haven't kept up with much either, um, no. fortunately. But yeah, I posted a couple. I actually posted the video of it getting chopped all off too. Yeah. Which is I got I got to say, I like the Ron Burgundy uh, tribute to the sled, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And are you happy with it now or what? Yeah. Now it's, it's awesome. Um, it is sold. It's already sold. Wow. Do you know what, can you tell you us what you're getting next year? Not yet. You're getting the turbo. Stop holding it back. <laughs> no, there was, there was something else in there that was, that was pretty appetizing that we might be going with, but Ooh. I can't say it just yet. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, it should be fun for sure. BCJ Vid said he enjoyed my appearance on the Vintage Snowmobile podcast last week. Thanks for watching that. Yeah, I was on a a vintage show last week. It was fun. That was a it was a different it was a different approach to be interviewed by someone. That's for sure. And and kind of keep it going. So, but we had a good time. And I got a prize to give away for uh, for the uh, the question that I asked last week as well. But. Um, what are you, you going to do with some boating videos this summer and stuff? Yeah, we, uh, I actually went down this weekend and went and unshrink wrapped the, you know, the boat and, uh, you know, starting to get that season up and running and open the house up and stuff like that. So yeah, it'll be all over the place. I'm going to, you know, really get to that 97 XCR that I bought last year to do videos on that. I just was so busy. I didn't have time to do anything with it. So that's still sitting there. So I really want to get that up and running and in tip shop shape 
and uh, see if I could convince myself to go do the ditch banger next year. Yeah, nice, nice. There, brought Corey back in. He must have just had to talk talk to Allison, eh? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uncle Buck says, where's the agenda tonight, Gary? LOL. (laughs) Hold on, guys. I got it. We're on number three right now. This is Snowmobile Sessions unscripted. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) Shoot, shooting from the hip. That's, that's the way I always roll. I've actually had some people ask me what the, you know, if there was an itinerary or whatever, and it's like, oh, no, 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 I don't get that. Don't too. say that there is. There's it's the roll same the, thing every week. Well, there's roll the credit minutes and, of banter, and then there's the the, the pictures, and then you shoot the shit for two hours. It's yeah, pretty much snowstorm. Jesse, snowstorm says he thinks you're getting a nine R. That's a beast, man. Hey, there's a there, here's another guy. Pro Polaris Rob is in the house. Oh, he's got, he's got a session shirt, shirt on. Too. Yeah, he does. Nice. There you go. What if you won? What if you won the actual contest from last week? Do I get to keep your shirt? Who me? Yeah. Did I win? What if it was you? I can't say yet. We haven't got to that part of the show. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I guess we could share it. Yeah. Well, that's true. Maybe I could get you a long sleeve if you won. How's that? <laughs> so Sounds we're just talking. What do you think of the nine, the players nine, the nine R, the nine hundred R? Me? Yeah. No, no, pro, pro players, oh, Rob. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, both of you guys. Really a mountain guy, I guess, but uh, I'm excited for those guys. It's uh, something. It sounds, you know, by listening to the mountain guys, it sounds like something they're looking forward to. And, There's a trail one um, too. Yeah. What's? Yeah. The, the trail one puts down. Yeah. I mean, there's there's lots of options. Just just comes down to money, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, well, for sure, for sure. So, how how was your weekend up in Kirkland Lake? Have you got any stories about uh, about Renegade X that we can you can share with us? Did he leave well, his bag open and lose anything on the trail, or no? There was no bread crumbing. Um, <laughs> we did manage to get to get his sled stuck. <laughs> nice, and, uh, but no pictures. You didn't well, send there's some pictures. We'll have to send some at another time. I guess we're gonna miss this season, but yeah, I keep joking that it was about 45 minutes and a couple of heart attacks later. So <laughs> yeah, do you remember? Do you remember the episode we were talking about worst stucks? It was last year, and do you remember Rich said he never got stuck? Well, he posted on yeah, Instagram and he's picture. buried yeah. and he's buried. So I was wishing yeah. he'd be on tonight so we could bug him about it, but. <laughs> Pounding miles. We've all been stuck, Gary. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. Cool. Yeah. Is that Renegade X in the background? The voice that I hear, but no face. No, he's not here tonight. Oh, okay. Okay. I what? What? Still uh, recouping from the weekend. I see your ATV in the background there. What do you got hiding back there? Oh, that's my son's 850. I've got an old 300 myself. Nice. We'll get the Wolverine up against that 300 and over there. Rip it. Express. Yeah. Nice. Pretty good. Yeah. Just working on some projects here in the garage. And nice. Have you got a TV then or are your computer sitting up there? How are you catching the streams? I'm on the iPad myself. I've got the TV, but I'm watching another, watching, uh, getting ready for hockey. Not, oh yeah, we we'll, we won't cut into your hockey too long. So, what was your favorite ride this year? What was your favorite destination or thing to see? Me? Yeah. Um, I mean, our favorite ride would have to be the northern trip. We did a lot of the local stuff. Um, only got about seven hundred miles, I guess, on uh, locally. Uh, didn't get the sled till the third week of January. So it was like three weekends and then it was done here. We're, we're all used to that. Right. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I know the Northern trip is always good. Uh, we always like to kind of base out of Kirkland Lake. That way we can either go into Quebec or go North. Uh, we found that that weekend there was so much snow and the, the weather was right. We, we ended up going more South and uh, West, um, you know, Elk Lake and, and that type of area there. So, so it was nice. It was good. Yeah, we uh, we got kind of shortchanged on the Kirk and Lake trip because it was so bloody cold, and then there's a couple other underlying issues. But uh, I think we got to take another kick at the can next year, eh, Corey? Oh yeah, for sure. Like that's the thing. It's uh, it's whatever. But it's a long yeah, drive. But what do you? It is, do? but you got to make it worth it, right? Yeah, so yeah. 
If it wasn't, I think if we it got, wasn't minus 40, it would have been, you know. Yeah, minus the minus 40. We could kinda, actually go more than 200 kilometers. We all were like, okay, this is enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you parked it off the trail after about 120. It was just like, okay. Did anyone catch uh, any of the hill climb live stream on the weekend? Oh, the uh, uh, Jackson Hole? Yeah. Yeah, I saw the. I didn't. The only thing I saw was the Lynx stuff because it was the first time a Lynx was there. Oh man, so. it was crazy. I I couldn't. I was glued to it all weekend. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I've seen it in That's years neat. past. Yeah, it was nasty for sure. You got yeah. some of it, Jesse? Yeah, I caught bits and pieces of it. Yeah, nice. Saw a lot of what the Polaris guys posted, and you know, all them guys, Keith Curtis, and and whatnot, and but wish I yeah. went. Apparently they had to change it from the regular hill to the another hill beside it or something. Yeah, I saw bits and pieces of that, and I, I don't know. I don't know the backstory to it and as to why it needed to get changed, but I do know it wasn't the the, the normal hill. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But I mean, it. You know, I saw a bunch of runs. You know, helmet cam footage, and there were some like big ledges, some big stumps, big, rocks, yeah, stumps, <laughs> rocks. I mean, they had they had but, everything for sure. Yeah. 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 It's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. Saw a yeah, 650 boost, which is pretty cool. That would be neat. Yeah. That'd be pretty that'd be pretty quick because the regular 650 is fast. Yeah. So that's what you're getting, eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I could go back to a small block. No. <laughs> ah, pretty crazy. Nice. No, that's cool. I, I was just going through the list here of all the shows that we did this season and then I on Black Friday, the Friday before Black Friday, where was I, Corey? Black Friday, Jesus. The I'm Friday afraid. before at Energy Power Sports. Oh, Energy. I was live on location. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was my first live on location. It was, it went, it went good. But I learned a lot from that experience, man. It was, yeah. uh, it uh, the next one was a lot better, that's for sure. But well, that was fun, man. We got to see the mock mock Z do the launch control in the park a lot and got to see that track balloon out on it. That was pretty fun. Yeah. So that was kind of the first look at the mock for us all. Yeah. Yeah. We also got a good look at all the, yeah. Cause we like, we went into like the dash and stuff on it too, which is really neat. Too. Yeah. Were you there, Rob? You, you didn't go to that. Were, did you go there? Uh oh, can't hear you. Can't hear him. Yeah, we went to the open house. Oh, yeah, okay. That that, that was be the yeah. that was the first place I met you guys in, right? Yeah, well, and then that's where we got the where yeah. we got the shirts. Oh, that's where you got the free shirts. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah John yeah. Luke printed up a whole whack of shirts for us, and he's awesome. Like that's a big shout out to John Luke and Energy Power Sports. They've been great backer and supporter of the show for two seasons now, and and yeah. uh, you know, looking good for season three. And, yeah, I can't. I can't thank that guy enough and his whole team and, yeah, we, and everything. We so. lucked out. To you even got syrup, right. well, so. and you're a Polaris guy. You can't have the XPS syrup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had we had some inside. Uh, we had some inside there. Uh, a buddy of ours from St. Mary's is actually a partner of uh, John Luke, so so he gave him a heads up that we were coming down and right on. Give us the uh, give us the tour and. Uh, Stuck a couple of these in her pockets, and there I remember Rich was Rich was a little bit upset because he hadn't had one yet. So no, I got, I got a case of twelve right beside me. Yeah. <laughs> Are they labeled? Yeah. Cool. yeah, they're labeled. Yeah, we can give one away tonight then. Yeah, sure. <laughs> there you go. As long as it's in Canada. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna go ship. The, this the syrup is great on do nuts. Is what Uncle Buck says. Yeah. Uncle Buck, you should call. You should dial in, buddy. Let's get you on air. And and Mrs. Uncle Buck, there's a link right there. You don't even have to have your camera on if you don't want to. We'll just take your lovely voice, <laughs> you know. So and then we had Chris from Fast Track Studs on. He was like, uh, I don't even know what episode that was. Funny thing is, the episodes aren't even numbered. They're uh, they're all numbered out of order. But it was, uh, <laughs> I don't know what it was, 40, 45, 46 maybe. 45 uh chris from fast track he gave us the, the skinny on his studs and that was good he's he's been a great supporter of the show as well anyone have any recommendations for new brunswick yeah there might be oh, neil owen might come on a little bit later and tell us about new brunswick um 
if not, hit Neil Owen up on Facebook and or send me an email and I'll get you in contact. He can help you out there. He just got back. Then we had uh, Clark Wilson from Berks from Skeggs. He came on and told us how much the triple points help you in your, your performance. That was a good show too. He was bummed. He was really bummed that he didn't get the four hours that, uh, hmm. that, uh, Hey, there's Nash. This is that's a awesome. New one. This is not, oh, that's not Nash. That's what this is Knox. He's new. <laughs> Knox. That's great. How's Nash doing? He's good. He's in between my legs right now. Or I'd show you. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> They're so cute. Key 60, 3060 is in Florida right now with 5,000 miles this year. That's a good run. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and then we had Ryan from Connect Power Sports. That was a fun show, too. He's a good guy. He told us all about his uh, his his, uh, his trails and his, his big run that he did a couple weeks ago. That, that came and went. And, and – uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. And that's the only one that I haven't – that, that uh, YouTube's actually punished me for because I think it's because when he hit his moose with his uh, his street bike, there was graphic images there. And they weren't even that bad. But, yeah, I, I got a I got a strike on that one. Hmm. So, yeah, Jim Nail, Jim Nail Daniel says that gas next year is probably going to be 8 bucks a gallon. He's still going to ride, though. Yeah, I hope yeah, not. It's brutal. Yeah, Get it doesn't back. look like uh, it. It doesn't look like I'm gonna put any support in for a diesel sled anytime Hi, soon. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Dallas? <laughs> Playing with some Lego. Are you? That's cool. I like Lego. Yeah. <laughs> then we had MJ Thompson. Yeah, Ski Doo Ambassador MJ Thompson was on next, showing us some of her vintage stuff and talking about her life as a Ski Doo Ambassador. That was pretty cool. And showing us her motocross stuff, and she'll be planning her uh, her vintage rally now. So, um, I, I hope to be doing something with her next week. Actually, uh, um, we've got a, a a motorcycle episode that I'm working on. It's kind of a carry from over from last year. So, if I can get it to go, then uh, then definitely see you now. I'll be on next Monday night, but it might be two Monday nights from now too. Who knows? We're going to need to find a, a second bike. For that vintage enduro, yeah, the vintage enduro might be the we, we're gonna we work on that. All my money's tied XR, up into your car. X, I know, man. We gotta, we got, don't worry. I'll get sorted out. <laughs> I got no money. I got like, yeah. I barely can afford gas right now to get home. <laughs> That's right. And then I've got the I've got an eight fifty coming next year and a new Gen five. So there's that yeah, too. Yeah, so there might not be another bike in my future. Yeah. Put it you that did way. get one, Gary. Yeah, I did. I ordered a Gen 5. I did the XRS with the smart shocks and the big gauge. I was going to ask uh, if anyone rode with the smart shocks this year. Everyone I heard that rode with them loved them. Yeah, we Corey actually, he'll be back on. He's got them on his with the module that works. Yeah. And uh, it's not a gimmick, man. It's Yeah, no, it's I heard, a, every, like I said, everyone that rode them said they loved them. I mean, yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. See, that got him back. Yeah. He got the duct tape and went. <laughs> I got a four-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a, they are. And I, you know what I think, like, and you stand up a lot too, Jesse James, mm -hmm. it actually, it actually compensates for the top, the top, uh, what do they call it? Higher center yeah, of gravity awesome. and, and in corners and you can stand up and rail. It's, mm -hmm. that's where I noticed it. Well, not only the comfort of it all, I noticed it a lot, but, um, and then I rode with uh, sled five one nine and, and he had him on his and we were, we were in some pretty, like horrible conditions like whooped out trails and mm -hmm. you know there's all kinds of stuff and and i i have the quick adjust so i'd adjust my suspension and then try and fix it right and then mm -hmm. i'd say what did you do there like did you did Pushed you get button. near bottom like did you yeah but i i just want to know if he felt what i felt like mm -hmm. just be honest with me and then we were watching each other's suspension and it's like i couldn't get mine to not pogo and he was he was just you know not effortlessly going through the day. So I think that's it. So yeah, Def it's definitely it. worth the money. I think like, yeah, I'm not one to tinker with, with stuff. And, and, uh, you know, I just, yeah, I, I'm constantly hitting the button and comfort and sport plus and mm -hmm. it's, yeah, they're, they're, they're awesome. 
Yeah. Yeah. Brad Hitchcock said he'd never own another sled without the smart shocks. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, yeah, that's, a couple, couple good guys that I know that are good riders and, you know, I trust their opinion. They, they have them and they were like, you'd be blown away, but I never got a chance to meet up with them and, you know, take it for a spin. So yeah, it's cool. It's cool to know that it definitely works, you know, and it's just going to push the industry to the next level. So exactly. I, I, mean, I, was, you know, yeah, I was a bit skeptical when I, uh, when I ordered it the first time, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, yeah, I ordered them again, so they gotta be, they yeah. gotta be good. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> hey, if they work, they work. There's not no yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, that and the and the ten and a quarter inch gauge. I mean that that gauge is a, is to me a game changer. I mean, I like the last one. I, I didn't have any beefs with the seven point eight seven point eight inch gauge, and uh, and when you sit on the new sleds, right. when I did that open house thing, it's night and day difference. You know. I really think the Player 7S screen's awesome. Um, and I like the square format of it, the 4.3 yeah. format. Um, and I, I think Dew's kind of picked up on that a bit where they made it more customizable. Customizable. Mm -hmm. You can actually customize the button on the on the controller to control your smart shock uh, settings and that kind yeah. of thing. So, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, yeah, pretty... The, yeah, the 7S is 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 sweet. Yeah, it's yeah. Two, years with, two years with it now and... I mean, I, I couldn't ride without it. Yeah. Are you a map guy? Like, do you always have the maps going when you ride too? No, for the most part, I know, you know, all the trails that we're going to, but like last year we did a, you know, like a 250 mile ride and we went into places that like, and we don't normally go to. And it was like whiteout conditions. I mean, it was a, on like a Tuesday off. The show. I had, oh. <laughs> I had no, you know, no one was oh, out. Yeah. Or that. And I, I followed that seven S, you know, two. <laughs> Don't mind these two clowns, Jesse. No, that's yeah. Like the uh, I can't ride without a map. I find that I'm like when my screen goes down, it's like oh, I just got to do everything I can to get the map back up, right? Yeah, yeah I watch the gauges because I was always watch RPM and everything else like that. So yeah, yeah. So Mrs. Uncle Buck and Mr. Uncle Buck, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Did you have a good? You guys don't have pants on, right? Just make sure you don't drop the camera down be, below your belly buttons. No, Wait. we got pants on. This is a children's show. It is. A, <laughs> well, we're all kids, Gary. <laughs> yeah. So, did you guys have a good season? Did you get together uh, as much as you wanted to? No, we had a good season, but we didn't get out as much as we wanted to. Yeah, there you go. And Mrs. Yeah. Uncle Buck sporting the the snowmobile yeah. sessions. Oh, we sure. both are, Gary. Come on. Oh, you got the red one right oh, on. Yeah, Perfect. Oh, look at that. I know. <laughs> right? There you go. Hey, listen, uh, did you hear what Corey and I were talking about on the weekend for the next year's uh, group ride? And I want the Americans to come up for it, too, because you'll be able to cash in on the on our lousy dollar and, and our, our better gas prices. Uh -huh. But uh, we're doing Sportsman Lodge next year. Yeah, I'll bring the rup and you bring uh, you bring the noting. You got it. I got to find one first. Yeah. There was a. Did you see that uh, that um, what was it like a seventy eight blizzard that was on Facebook Marketplace for yeah. sixty two hundred bucks and it looked like it was like better than showroom. Yeah, better than showroom. Yeah. Man, like everybody put in super chats i need to get sixty three hundred dollars tonight because i want to buy that bad boy <laughs> i tell you mj's got one in her living room that's that's almost as nice as that in her living room yeah hmm. yeah it's a uh, i think she rides it though once in a while it's small enough to fit through the door i believe <laughs> but yeah yeah so jim daniels Thank loves you. the paper maps he looks at them at almost every corner yeah, I, I, the lost art of reading a paper map, yeah. throwing sparks says. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. Neil Owen. He says, "I wish he wish BRP would change the yellow to black, so it shows up better." I wish you could customize the color, so you can set whatever color. Like uh, the player says, the blue is it blue, Jesse, on the player so, the track that it lays down. Yeah, yes, I think it's blue, and it was so easy to see. And yeah, I agree. It was, they, it was blue because the trails are black on it on the right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the thing. They do have to change that. The other thing that that I don't like about the BRP map is that it keeps re, when it redirects you, it doesn't do it automatically. It asks you 
and then you have to hit the button twice to say, yes, I want you to redirect, right? Do you want to redirect? Yes. And then you're right along. Meh. Do you want to redirect? Yes. And then it'll actually do figure out a new route. I wish it would just automatically do it. It's a little right? glitchy. It's a bit glitchy. I yeah, it's yeah. Sometimes, and sometimes when you rewrote it, it doesn't do it properly. And then all of a sudden it thinks that you're 200 kilometers down the trail behind you. And it's not even laying a line anymore. That's what I hate about it. Because Ride Command, it seemed like... You had it up on your on the dash of your two thousand nine six hundred on your iPhone, and it worked miles better than your. I wouldn't. Dash. I wouldn't say miles. Yeah. No, I say, it's no, not no, miles. No. It wasn't miles it better. better. It worked. It's not. I don't think it's as good as the. I don't think it's as good when, when it's working, the BRP is pretty slick, and the fact when you're coming up the turn by turn is is what makes it so good, right? Yeah, that's that's really nice. Yeah. The, the turn by turn is is what makes it better in my mind and on the trail it shows a little black arrow will come up on the yellow um on the yellow map to show you that yeah that that is the way you're gonna go so i do i really do like that so that's the corner you're gonna blow yeah exactly <laughs> yeah you don't even though even though three guys in front of you say it's a tight corner slow down and you see the slow sign go oh they're just they're just shitting you and you still don't turn <laughs> <laughs> on, so, the new, on the new ski do map can you guys like link it to other guys that have that system or no yeah yeah okay, yeah so that's just like the ride command then yeah they took yeah. they took that feature off ride command for sure yeah, yeah. that's, yeah. that's, that's really cool awesome. the group ride yeah it's neat. yeah but Corey's always so friend over text. It's great. Yeah. yeah. And that's the same as ride command to you, but Corey's always so far ahead. He never shows up on your map. <laughs> <laughs> you or is it? I'm so you far behind. Your throttle a little more, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, I do, man. I Bring do. the duct tape next time, Corey. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Have you been to the sportsman lodge, uncle Buck and Mrs. Uncle Buck? We We've been to the Sportsman Inn in Killarney. Killarney. Yeah. Is Different. that the nice one? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, geez, you you are rolling. <laughs> that, I just seen a video on that, and it's it looks good. Yeah, that, it's it's quite the place in Killarney Mountain Lodges. That's, that's the, the one. That's the nice one, the Killarney Mountain Lodge. Yeah, yeah, so the same guy owns both. And when you go to Killarney Mountain Lodge, it's like stepping back into the 20s or the 30s. Um, and then, of course, when you go for breakfast, you'll see the float planes and the helicopters come in off the yachts to come in oh, for breakfast. We, hmm. Yeah. So no. you must have saw me then coming in off my uh, my yacht. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it got seized because he's a he's a what do they call it? A Russian uh, bull uh, bulligard or whatever. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! Now well, we just right. gotta look forward to boating season. Yeah, that's right. You got you guys boat in the summer too? Yeah, we got a tri tune. Oh, nice. You do fishing. We fish, we take the nieces and nephews tubing, we hang out. We just hang out, yeah. Have lunch, yeah. dinner, sunset cruises. That's what it's all about. Who are the Trent Severn? Yeah, that's what it's all. I, I'd love to do the Trent Severn. They got a marine railway, Jesse, big where shoot. you actually, the you big shoot, you pull up on this on this cradle, and it's, it's a railway that takes your boat, huge over the, boat, over oh, the road. Over? Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's yeah, look up really cool. look up the big shoot. I did that on, last on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's pretty awesome. If you look up big shoot, maybe will, Corey will take me through the big shoot on his yeah. speedboat. Yeah. Anytime. You gotta you gotta hope that the gas kind of doesn't keep going up though as we get closer to the summer here. A lot of us are gonna be kind of fucked. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were we talking about that? What was that one guy that that your friend Neil knows that spends four grand a month on? Well, Jesse, your your fuel must be crazy too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that fountain. I'm sure it wasn't uh, wasn't easy. You know that fuel. wasn't that wasn't the worst. Believe it or not, I was. You know, unless you were pushing it, you know, it was it was pretty. It was the dogs are fighting now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um. You know, unless you were pushing it and you got those four barrels open up, it wasn't too bad. But a lot of the boats are kind of the same. If you keep them just on plane, it's not too bad. I find. Yeah. I don't know. 
but the new one, new boat's definitely uh, thirsty. <laughs> the uh, why? Why would you? Um, why would you want to drive a boat with four barrels and not hear them open up? Right. Well, that's, that's, that's the problem that you run into. I didn't say that we didn't open them up often. I just said if you didn't open them up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's hard to listen to one RPM the whole time, right? You got to. Yeah, it just and it small, starts it, to drone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you want to just floor. You got to blow the, the, uh, you got to blow the carbon out of it. That's for sure. It's healthy yeah. for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Tim Tim V's been to Bob Cage and he always spends two weeks in the Trent every year, he said. Uh Renegade X was on the big shoot in a houseboat. Nice. Oh, you, you can take some pretty big stuff over it. It's it's pretty That's crazy. Incredible. Pull a houseboat yeah. over it. Yeah. Oh, it's there's bigger than that. Like there was a fifth there was a fifty foot uh when I went last summer before me, there was a fifty footer from Chicago that went through it. No. Way. Yeah, look it up. Look it up on just Google it. It's crazy. Yeah. It's literally, it takes you up and over like a mountain. I wouldn't say it's a mountain, but it's a rock. Right. Hill and it's, it's pretty awesome. It's uh yeah. The Trent Severn waterway is here. I'll, I'll show a picture here of it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's deadly here. I'm going to share this screen here. Wait, do you see this? Yeah. Once I see this, I got to split. I actually got to get some actual work done and then edit a video for tomorrow. Do you see that? Holy oh crap. Look at that. And it's far. How far does it go, Corey? Oh, it's, oh, man. I don't know. 500 feet. I don't know. 500 feet maybe. Or You yeah. see the rails? You see the rails it's on? But yeah, yeah. it's... Uh, the cable broke, uh, I don't know, about 15 years ago and boats went down, smashed the drives. Oh. Um, yeah, there was, there was some, they've had some issues. It, it, it needs some love, I feel. <laughs> it needs some love. well they used they used to keep it up they used to keep it up really nice and it was painted every year and now you go like the wood's starting to rot and uh, it's all rusty and i don't know it doesn't look i don't know maybe just the, our government it's all government run right so yeah, yeah it's true but it's pretty cool Definitely yeah, that's, to see. that's on the bucket list for sure yeah that's that's super cool it's only yes. about uh man I don't know, maybe uh, an hour and a half boat ride from from my place. Hmm. So that's not too bad. No. Nope. Tim V thinks it's eleven hundred feet. Oh, is it? Yeah, I, I don't know. I was pulling. That I up. think it is far, right? Like that's that's far. Yeah, and it's o- up over rock. Like it's pretty big. Like we snowmobiled beside it the one year near it, and you could see it. I'm going like. When you see it with your own eyes, you just you can't believe they're pulling big boats up over this thing. Right. But yeah. The sea dews, the sea dews, they just let them sit on the wood. Yeah, just they, rock like, on one side. Yeah, they just teeter on the Whatever wood. Whatever they can go. go. And as soon as you hit the water, it starts to float and away you go. That's that's great. cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Hmm. Yeah. So. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate it, Gary. Thank you. No problem. Enjoy Thank you for program. joining us, Jesse James, and keep up the good work too. We're Thank looking you. forward to seeing what you get next year. Appreciate it. That video, what I'm getting, should be. I think I'm going to do that Thursday. Okay. Yeah. So, right on. It's coming. So thanks, guys. Talk. I'll, to you. I'll I'll watch that one for sure. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> See you thanks, guys. buddy. See you. Yeah. Take care, Ray. Be good. That's good. Yeah, he'd like something like that with the with the Marine Railway. That's for sure. Oh, it's it's awesome. Yeah, Matthew Nicholson just got in. He said he's on his dad's account and can't wait for next winter. He's got a 23 900 Enduro Ace Turbo. That would be a great sled. Yeah. So. Mm. I think we're going to get a beer. Are you? Go grab a beer. Yeah, I'm going to start. And then when you come back, we'll do the fan photos, but we'll just keep going here. So we did the MJ Thompson thing. Then we did the Brap Cancer Telethon. That was awesome. You guys all helped yeah. raise over $5,500 Canadian for those charities. And that was a one-off. That was a quick, you know, last minute, no planning needed. And uh, we just threw it together and, and did that. And that was that was awesome. Uh, yeah, Mrs. Uncle Buck was upset that she didn't get the hat. Yeah, my wife loves that hat too. So <laughs> we'll, get a, we'll get a chance next year. And that was with uh, Backyard Recreation. That was awesome. And we did that yeah. live from his shop. And yeah, so a lot of fun, a lot of good feedback on that. And I think as the year kicks off in, in October next year, 
I'm going to start collecting prizes from, you know, the people that are on the, the stream and also the, uh, um, you know, we're going to start promoting that, uh, I'll figure out the date and we're going to start promoting that, uh, the snowmobile sessions ride. So, yeah, cause I was bummed the beer spot didn't go. I was looking forward to hanging out with all you guys. And, uh, and that's like you said, last, last Thursday night, that's my true fans right there. Right. I can't believe Ghoulies hasn't come on. He, I thought for sure he'd come on the air tonight, but, uh, yeah, so I was looking forward to that. We had Ghoulies. We had a buddy of mine, the Grant, the guy that I rode with in the last video. Um, he's an old high school buddy of mine, and we rode for quite a bit, and then we lost touch with each other. And uh, and he hit me at Christmas to wish me a Merry Christmas. So it's been, it took that long to get out in the snow with him. But he had booked a room with his buddies at the beer spa. So it was kind of cool. So yeah, it's uh, Sportsman Lodge would be awesome if we can. Yeah, sports. Up. Try to this, make it a weekend that I can go. Yeah, I will. That's the thing. That? We, got, we got to talk about those dates, but um, I don't think we should try and do it around. I, we're not going to do it around family day, but oh, then I will be able to go then because that's like right. Like, no, but it will be a week. It will be a weekend because I think a lot of guys can't get off work. Right? Mm. How about a U.S. trip to Michigan? Now, I'd love to do that. You know, for a group yeah. ride though, I think I got to do it up here. I mean, I want. I want something where we know we get some snow. So I was I was really bummed last year, you know. So but uh, we can all head and see the ever changing vistas of Mary Lake, Gary. We can. We could ever do that. Ever changing vistas of Mary Lake. The only issue with that, and we learned our lesson this year, is that you're not guaranteed snow. Like we really didn't have. We went up there twice. I went once with my wife, and once with Drew, and. <laughs> Other years you could have rode every weekend and it wasn't stellar riding by any means, right? So, you know, there we go. Look, how do you still have those left? Don't worry That's about incredible. it. Incredible. Don't, Don't worry. worry about it. He's been saving that for a special occasion. Yeah. Forget about it. Night good and skunky. I got I got that's what I had earlier. So oh, there we go. <sighs> that was that was my first one. Was was uh, there you go. Cheers, guys. There, yeah, cheers. <laughs> but that's the um that's the uh now I've got a I've seltzer going on, so oh, that's why it's a little look at that. I'm I'm in it. In it to win so, it. So you're coming up to Quebec anytime next year. Quebec yeah, is we're going. We, yep. We're going. Yeah, it's not gonna be an if, it's a when, right? Yeah. So that's something we you know, you see the pictures right now, the guys are riding, it's like wow, that's incredible. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Gooley's, I've had it twice in two years. What's that? COVID. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah, it's still out there. It hasn't gone away, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, so we'll – we'll next next season we're going to kick it off and we're going to start planning stuff right away, like the, the group ride for sure. And uh, like I said, it'll be a weekend, so the guys that, that can't get off time off work can at least make it for a weekend and – we're not going to try and do any special deals. Like the last deal was really good, um, but I think if we just go and we we'll get we we'll get them to hold some rooms for us and and get everybody to book sooner than later, we should be good, right? The place is awesome. I've been twice. And yeah, it's. I went once this year. A couple of years ago, I went, and the trails are unbelievable in Sudbury. You'll see with your videos. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, the next uh, the next video coming out from yeah. Sudbury is shows. The real riding areas. It's pretty yeah, like, cool. I, I just want to go back there again. That was some of the best riding I think we have ever done, right? Like, yeah, that was amazing. And considering, like, what we are, when we drove up through Perry, uh, through Perry like, Sound, Perry Sound yeah. like where we were supposed to go, we were like, oh, like, this is, this is pretty scary, like, what this might look like. But the, the second day going up north was perfect. That was right after the up. rain. Like, I think it was the, mm -hmm. maybe the second rain that we had. So. Yeah, it was. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and and the tra like the trail was the trails were freaking phenomenal. Like not so much going to the French River Bridge, but I'm glad we did that. Yeah. But going north was <laughs> going north was freaking awesome. Yeah. And then we got in the blizzard, and I mean, yeah, you you can't go wrong with the snow there. It's and it's not overly far away. Like it's not like you have to drive to Cochrane to hit it, right? You know, yeah. so. 
Did yeah. you guys go over really the mysterious busy. bridge in Ontario, Gary? No, I, I, I did a long time ago, but it's sketchy, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, Corey and his wife, Shannon, went to see it uh, and didn't cross it. But then we didn't get that way, right? We, we, no. were, we had to go left. We went right on that second day, right? Is that correct? Like yeah. that, where, where we picked you back up, like you left and then you came back. Pretty much at that intersection is where you make the decision of which way you're going, right? Yeah, it doesn't go any like the trail doesn't go there any like you can get there. It's on the rail bed D trail, the C D trail, and and it it turned the trail turns before it I think, and then you can continue to it. Um, but I mean, if you didn't know where it was, you, I don't think you'd really know. Like you wouldn't know how to really get there. I guess it's it's not marked on the map, obviously, right? So. Um, yeah, the, the, the birch logs, the two-inch birch logs within the first three feet kind of turned me off at this year, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to do it, but it's going to be on the, it's got to be on an old sled. It can't be on anything you care about, <laughs> just in case. No, no, exactly. <laughs> if you have to, if, if you got to let the sled go and just land on some two-by-fours and so be it. But yeah. I'd love oh, to for sure. it, but got to make sure no. your uh, health, your life insurance is put up before it. Yeah, well, we'll we'll plan some some routes around there and get people. Yeah, we'll show crazy. people that and stuff, that. and, and uh, we'll show people that bridge and you know. But I think we go to the Wolf Lookout and all those other places and Smooth oh, yeah. Rock. What did you say you could go? Shining Tree was it? Yeah, Shining so. Tree is the place that's north of uh, where like when we got to that intersection, the very top of our loop, there was a sign up to Shining Tree, and it was yeah many kilometers. Yeah, for sure. The- we could meet at the border and trail between Maine and New Brunswick. That's awesome. We got Ghoulies coming in. He's just he's getting his devices connected right now. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. We also had uh, going back to my Tim Druin. Hey Tim Druin. Do you know Tim Druin? Yeah, yeah, very well. Hey Dave and Dana. Great guy. Renegade yeah. X is on. There he is. Look at him. He looks like Steve Jobs from Apple. Yeah, very well. <laughs> Great guy. Renegade X is on. There he is. Look at him. He looks like Steve Jobs from Apple. Yeah, well. you, you got the stream on, so it's echoing back. <laughs> Renegade X is on. There he is. Look at him. He looks like Steve Jobs from Apple. Yeah. I'm getting bad bad feedback from it. Keeps coming back on. So how you doing, Renegade X? I heard you got stuck. You're you're muted there. Rob, tax him and tell him to unmute himself. Oh. Done. Ghoulies, there we go. Sure. Perfect. Oh, I think he dropped off. Yeah. Ghoulies is trying to connect, but he's not having much luck. Yeah. So David McClure from the Arctic Cat Black Cats. That was a good show, too. Interesting guy. I love his story about when he uh that was a he had the landscaping business just so he could snowmobile. Have the time off the snowmobile. Remember that? That's that's a mentality to have. And then, then it was Kirk Hastings, the ultimate snowmobile race, Kane's Quest, with his crazy wife, Penny, and the Codcast. I love that. I listened to that in, in the car and laughed my ass off the whole time. That's That was probably the funniest pair we had on all season, I'd say. She, Penny is hilarious. Yeah. That's where she's got to get us to go to snow escapes. Yeah. That's where we got to go. They've been posting pictures on their Instagram of the uh, the rides they're doing right now, and they got a ton of snow out there. There's no issue with snow in that area, that's for sure. Chris Rink was on from Southern Tug Hill Snow Riders. That was fun, too, it, learning about the trail system down there. It's not about just Ontario here. And then we had Mark Mayer come on the week after from Old Forge. So it's it's kind of cool to hear how different those two networks are, right? We are lucky up here to have the OFSC, though, right? Oh, for sure. Everyone kind of, it's Bruce all connected as one, right? 
and get everybody yeah. booked sooner than later, we should be good. Oh, yeah. Is it and, your is it your that are you watching on YouTube, Corey? I'm getting really hold on one second here. There you go. Yeah, it must have been his that was playing back. And I think Renegade X thought it was him and left the stream. That's too bad. Yeah, so what else do we have? After Mark Mayer, we had Scott Davis from the Iron Dog, seven times world champion. That was cool, too. Man, those races, that's grueling stuff, man. And then we had Curve Industries on. And we got those skis, guys. They're they're awesome. Like they really, I got to do a video on it because they uh they oh, they'll really, hear it enough in in all the videos. I can't stop yeah. talking about them. They blow the pilots out of the water. I don't. I'm doing never switch back to a set of pilots. Like they blow them out. No darting. They're super precise. Great in the deep stuff. They float really good. Like oh my god. I didn't. I wouldn't have thought thought that they'd make that big of a difference. But man, oh, they ever make a difference. A good ski. Did you put yeah. them on Bullwinkle, Gary, just to try it out? No, I didn't. But I'm gonna actually see because it's a different mount kit. The ski is the same. It's just spacers and the rubber thing. I'm gonna get him to send me up a set of uh, of the mounts for the 850 and. And I'll try it on my new one next year. There's these little um, outside. I don't know. Explain it. They're like these little like plastic kind of like an, it's an extra. They're called thrusters. Yeah. And they help with picking up snow dust. It's like it works like a scratcher. And then for the Renegades is a longer one. I have the short MXZ one or yeah. short and track the, one. And, and the the, um, the, the uh, I ran into a guy, uh, Dan and Oosterman. He's often in the chat, actually. Um, he might pop in later tonight. But I ran into him on the trail with an 850 Gen 4 with them on it. And he go and he said the same as us. Like he's he's the one in the chat. It doesn't matter what the trails are like. It's the ski acts the same. Yeah. Like it hard as a rock and sheet of ice or yeah. the most powder you've ever ridden. In, you'll have the same precision. That's what I love about it. Because I always find like especially on the 2009, the pilots are so like it's just so unpredictable. And I think that's exactly how I had a small accident a year and a half back or two years back now. But uh, <laughs> we've seen the sign. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Did you actually get to the sign? Uh, you, I've driven past there, but I. It, oh, you sent. I'll send you the coordinates if you ever. Yeah, like you. <laughs> it's hard to see. Like Drew drove past it this year because it's hard a to little see. Bit. Yeah, I kind of was so, like, oh wait, this is it here, and then. And then we couldn't get a picture at it because the one guy peed at it, and it's like, oh man, <laughs> I'm not standing in, in your summer. It's good yellow enough. snow. Yeah, we were in there in the summer, so that was that was awesome. Yeah, that's cool. That we'll again. check it yeah, out. It's... We'll check it out on the quads. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. The quad is a one way in. Nice. It's you, you can't there, get out a... from the. There's a yeah, gate. Sorry. Yeah. 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 On where the road is just like 500 meters up, it has a gate. But if you go in the back way, there's no gate. Like if you kind of take your the longer way in, but that just makes it more fun. Who wants to drive down a road to get to it? Exactly. Right? It's yeah, neat I'm to trying, see. I'm trying to convince Mrs. Uncle Buck to let me have a an ATV. Oh yeah. Yeah. You got to get one with power. Power steering. Using power say, steering. Wi-Fi just died or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he had a 500 Outlander with power steering, and that was pretty nice. You know? Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday. About yeah, I, I could buy a used Jeep CJ for less money than I'm going to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those like 2009 Renegades people are selling for like 10 grand. It's like, what the hell is yeah. going on? It's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We got such a good deal on that Wolverine. Oh yeah, for sure. 800 bucks. We could probably get 2,500 for it right now, you know, or more. Yeah. Yeah. More. I wouldn't sell it though. It's just, it's such mm. a fun little bike, right? And so light. And we put such, we put such little time into it to get it working so yeah. good too. I'll, I mean, other than having to send the starter in and the carbon, it's like we did everything else pretty quickly. So. Yeah, what skis are recommended for the Renegade XRS? If you're talking about curve skis, um, the Pilot X are a good ski. Don't get me wrong, but if you're talking TX, curve skis, York. it's the uh, what do we got? The the Curve XS, as I think is yeah. what we've got on XS. ours, and, and they're, that's what you'd run. It's it's a little bit wider too. Yeah, considerable it's cool you can get any color, any loop color, and the actual ski can be whatever color you want. You make it all, you choose your loops. It's a pretty nice, neat little yeah. kit. 
You get you get yeah, a set of sure. carbides or shapers with it or something too, whatever it was. Yeah, and you can run you can run Bergstroms on them too. You just yeah, got to get the Bergstrom for skirt for curves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big fan of the Bergstroms. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to try them this year, but I've that's been running like, them for years. When the uh, when the when the curve skis go on Roscoe, we'll put them on that. So I ordered TX again on the on the on the XRS. I like it. Look at I Corey think the carbides are awesome. I think that's something that I wish that like you know, like that's yeah. just such a cool little thing because it's it's nice to have that. Uh, you know what, Gary? Yeah. This next year when we both have the identical sleds, yes. You, that then then I'll try. Because like yes yeah because you know that's that's the test and yours yeah because you'll have the same sleds yeah yeah so Corey right? did you get did you get a 129 or a 137 a 137 um I don't know I I my 2020 destroyed my I found what my 137 um the the difference is I think well I I ordered the one and a half inch track on my new like on my sled this year and i found out that they gear it different um yep. so my top speed is not very high and i don't know i i put a one and a half inch storm track on my 2020 and i guess it must have because it came with an inch and a quarter which i had the dealer take off and i found that that thing just it it was really fast and and uh yeah i so I ordered the same this year, um, kind of kicking myself, um, but I might put the Storm 150 track on it at the dealer. And then the problem with the the, the track, um, the short, like they were having trouble with the shortages. So I didn't want to be stuck with a track like Gary. Um, hey. <laughs> I love and, my track. Uh, I love you. Got to get the you got to get the fast the track fast studs. Track studs. Yeah, track you do. So yeah, so I uh, if if I can't get a one storm one fifty if they're sold out or they don't make them or whatever, then I'll keep the one inch and a half ice ripper. But uh, I don't know. I was really um, I was really pleased with the storm track on my twenty twenty, and I and I do personally. I feel like the uh, I can. I can steer and run faster with the shorter track than the one yep. 37. That's my opinion. Yeah, I got to ride um, the XCR both in a 136 and a 128. And uh, the 128 was hands down easier in the twisties by, by yeah. quite a bit, um, which is what I went for. I actually, I went, I got, I was fortunate enough to go out with the guys from Snow Tracks and try the 2022s uh, last March. And so it was great to flip back and forth between 650s, 850s, 137s, 136s, and the 128s. Yeah. And I went in thinking I was going to get a 850 XCR 136. Came out buying a 650 128. Hmm. So. Nice. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, it was my first. Like, I've only ever owned short tracks. And I don't know. It seems to be the big hype get a longer track and everything. And I don't know, I, I did it. I did it again just because, well, now my wife's getting into it and I feel like we're going to end up doing some backpacking and stuff. So I do want the extra link spot. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. So it's pretty easy to keep up with Gary or get away from Gary. So even on the one thirty, is that because he's always stopped? Even on the 137. Is so. still open? Or that, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. he's waiting for no, it's either the bag or Roscoe's got a <laughs> some going on with it again. Yeah, no yeah. shit. Hey, Gary, uh, Steve Jobs wants better. back in. Steve, oh, what's going on? Did you did you hear what happened with my bag, <laughs> hey, Uncle Gary, Buck? Which which one? No, but did you hear? Did you hear that I actually got a replacement from our yeah, big fan, I, I Steven? Heard that one of the fans uh, picked you up a new bag, and isn't some that freaking goodies? Oh my God! Isn't that freaking amazing? It is amazing. Yeah, man. Oh man. But it yeah, it's. Uh, fit. It doesn't. I fit just couldn't. It, it. Yeah, I couldn't get it to go to lock down. So yeah, I, I have to figure that out. Yeah. So it's we Actually, we we've messing with it for a while. It's like the it won't go into the link bracket. It's like, it doesn't it's like, it's not deep. Itself. It's like the, 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 it's actually the lock part isn't deep enough. I think so. I don't know. 
It's weird. But uh, I was snowmobiling today, but I, didn't, I was snowmobiling today, but I didn't get a chance to try the bag out. I meant to, but hmm. nice. Yeah. So, hey but, Gary. Uh, yeah. Uh, Steve Steve Jobs wants back in. He's in the room. I guess. Oh, is he? Oh, shoot. Yeah. I, there's there's two waiting down there. Hold on. Steve Jobs. Yes. Ghoulies. Hey guys. What's going on? Going? <laughs> Good. And there's Steve Jobs sitting beside you. He's going to give an <laughs> iPad out to everyone watching right now. <laughs> nice. You, you get an iPad. You get an iPad. That's right. Exactly. What's going on, guys? Yes. Just, uh, just over here <laughs> fighting COVID. That's all. Uh, have you got COVID, bud? Yeah, I got COVID. Oh, shit. Sorry to hear that, man. Hey, uh, Steve Jobs, have you got your, uh, are you watching the YouTube feed on the TV or something? I can hear it echoing back. No. No? Have, are you better? watching? Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, it was you. You yeah, should know sorry. better, man. <laughs> so, yeah, so are, are you're feeling good, though? Is it just, what is it? Is it just colds, diarrhea? What is it? Well, I just, uh, for the first couple of days, had a fever, and uh, now I just got really nose, a little stuffy. But I feel fine, really. Yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. I'm glad you're on, man. It's good to see you. And this is kind of the crew that was going to the the uh, snowmobile sessions beer spa on the screen right now. You know, short of a few few people. So we're Corey and I were up in Sudbury and we were talking about how bummed we were that it didn't go on. And we were looking forward to hanging with you guys. It would have been we're we're doing it next year though, Ghoulies. Did you hear? Yeah, I've been hearing. Yeah. Yep. So we'll we'll, we'll keep you in there. Sportsman Lodge 2023. Yep. Yeah. He got it. Whether he doesn't, Jim from Sportsman Lodge doesn't know yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you say it to him. Hey, I heard the Sportsman session getting up here. So yeah. send him the link to the to the podcast tonight, Gary. I will. I, I'm going to talk to him. Actually, I meant to talk to him today, but I got busy. I get doing some IT stuff for work and trying to get some sound issues straightened out. And I did it, but it's just it took my whole day, but. I didn't get a chance to talk to him, but yeah, we'll get him on. I, I think maybe what if he's game, I'll get him on to kick off the season next year, and and then we'll just start pushing it right from day yeah, he's one. He's a good right? guy. He just he just bought it. This is only his uh, his second year uh, owning. Yeah, it. Um, yeah. The original guy George. There wasn't too many people that liked him. He he over welcomed his his owner ownership. I guess you could say with the locals. So um, he still grooms. He still grooms the area. But um, yeah, Jim's a, Jim's a good guy for sure. Yeah. So, so Ghoulies, let's talk about your 900 turbo. You love that sled, right? Yeah. It's an awesome sled. Yeah. It looks like it's snarly as hell. Like, is it like compared to your 850, is it crazy or what? Like, what, what do you think? Well, yeah, it's more of a handful than my 850. That's for sure. Uh, like noticeable. Like, yeah, when you get on it, it's a big difference. Uh, wow. Yeah. It doesn't handle as great. Uh, but that's probably another problem with it, you know, why it makes it more gnarly. But uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, it's probably the Corey holding up the XRS. <laughs> like, is, do you think it's because it's a, it's a four stroke it doesn't handle well, or do you think it's just set up? Well, I, I kind of have it set up now, but. Uh, it's just because it's heavier in the front, I guess. Wider. It's like a bigger machine. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The XRS 850 handles way better. Yeah. But, uh, on a straight line, that thing's just like a rocket. Yeah. Nice. Well, I know uh, watching your video where you're riding around behind the farm, it was like when that turbo comes on, man, it looks like fun. Like yeah. it just looks like it's there, right? Yeah. 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 That's Every time you crank it, the skis just come up. It doesn't matter what speed you're at. It just comes up. So, yeah, we need to try one of those. Yeah, I, I got to get did on the one. the snow trackers help you out at all, Mike, with that? Yeah, I put the snow trackers on. Uh, it does feel a lot lighter, easier to ride. I can do I can do a lot more kilometers on it, but uh, it still don't handle, like, the 850. Like, I put the snow trackers on. Now I got, like, it doesn't dart anymore, but I got way more push in the corners, so... I'm a little hesitant in giving her more throttle in the corners and stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Did you put semi-aggressives on or the full aggressives? No, I put the mediums on. Mm. 
but uh, I ran the fulls on my old 900 Arty Cat, and uh, it was unbelievable how well they worked. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna do something different next next season. Uh, probably XRF. just gonna change the skis. Yes, <laughs> with some curves, some curve yeah, access. I got one yeah. that's coming too, so I'm I'm okay. I know that's good. Did you get the uh, Did you get the smart shocks on it? You know what? I didn't get the smart shocks or the big screen, and I totally regret it. I actually you called ghoulies. Come on, I actually man. called back and said, you know what? I, I want to add him on, and he says it's too late. Yeah. And, and I just feel like an idiot now. But Yeah. Maybe in my table. What did you order? What did you order, Mike? I ordered DA50 XRS. Oh, nice. What color did you get? I got the uh, the silver with the burgundy or the maroon. sweet, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that actually looks better in person than it does in the pictures. Yeah, yeah, it'll look great on the snow. You'll like that. Well, I was hoping yeah. it'd be like a little more red. I didn't, I didn't go. Yeah, I, the, I wasn't the, too crazy for that dark maroon when I seen it in person, but I think it'll rub off on me. It will. I think you see more of the gray. Like that's thing. I the, the red bugged me when I first seen pictures of it. Yeah. But then when we seen it at the Barry event, you were there as well. It was yeah. like, okay, you don't even notice the red. The the, the rest of the sled's such a such a sexy beast, right? Yeah. So well, I, I didn't go for the smart shocks. I don't know how it was gonna be because I'm a lot big, I'm a really heavy guy. I'm I'm like more than 350. So I don't know how those smart shocks were gonna react with me on it. I wasn't sure. I think you still have you could still upgrade the torsions. The torsions, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like the they still work. Would be your thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Torsions the key. The oh, shocks. Don't put them just... backwards. <laughs> yeah, don't put your little holders on upside down. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. yeah, and I think Jean Girard's been working a fair bit with these smart shocks this year as well. Eh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he will have uh, he will have them dialed by next year for sure. So. Um, you know what? You're going to get a 900 turbo though when it comes out in Gen Five. That's the that's what you should yes. do. The, do the smart shocks on that, right? Yeah, you could, you could try ours if you're out with us too this year. Yeah, for sure. Year, so. Yeah, that you can. Be great if you if, want. If you want it, this big ass on your sled, that's. Well, nice. I was going to say you can ride Corey's, no problem. <laughs> Gary Gary's always busy picking up his shit behind him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Bars, we all have stories though though right <laughs> yeah i, I was oh. gonna ask you about the race between the 900 ace and the 850 there ghoulies but you never knew the outcome because the guy barrel rolled the 850 <laughs> well, <laughs> a D dnf the the 900 turbo <laughs> is faster but it's hard to hook up on the nine uh, on the nine hundred turbo, so the eight fifty a lot of times just blows right by me. Yeah, is that right, eh? Yeah, like uh, there's times where they don't even click. When I hook up and go, and the lifting of the skis doesn't pull me to one side where I gotta let go. Yeah, I'm gone. But most of the time, I gotta straighten myself out or ease off the throttle, and they just blow right by when I. Next do. time, you should try it on a lake. Well. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I <should>. Just saying. <laughs> well, he the guy would have been all right if he didn't raise his hand up to do the the fist that he was last in the line, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're talking about AJ. Yeah. Yeah, he, that that was a pretty hairy section he was going through, and I was trying to tell him on the communicator, slow down over here. But I guess he didn't hear me because I didn't realize how far back he was. And, yeah. Uh, and it just bit him in the ass, but he's okay. Dominator no want, wants to know what kind of accent that is, Ghoulies. Uh, I'm from Sicily. I'm Italian. Italian. Hmm. Uh, yep. There you go. But you're hearing more of a cold than anything. Yeah, right, right. The Canadian Italian. Yeah, that's, can, you catch that's COVID through a, can you catch COVID through a computer screen? I hope not. You guys <laughs> no, there is a shot for it. If you go into the clinic tomorrow, they'll give it to you. All right, perfect. Yeah. But then you'll need a computer booster shot. In yeah, yeah then you'll need four months. another booster shot in nine months. Yeah. Canadian, what are you talking about? He's Richard Nicholson says. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to Mike Gooley. He's got a good channel there. So. Yeah, their yeah. bikes are already waiting in the garage. Yeah, so. 
how do you how do you find that? Like you said, you're a bigger guy. Is it it doesn't seem to hinder you when you're on your bike, from what I can see. Well, I've been riding a bike since I was like ten years old, so uh, I use more experience than uh, than anything else. So it's hard. Some some days it's hard to uh, catch my breath and stuff. Uh, it's hard to set up the bike. My bike's never set up for my weight. That's for sure. Uh, but you know, I still do it. Yeah, you yep, for sure. John Gerard, he could help you. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to go to one of those guys to yep. help me set it up. But I'm a type of guy where come summertime, I'll lose like 20, 30 pounds, and uh, it still won't be set up for me. So yeah, uh, right, it's, right. Like uh, my weight just goes up and down with like the seasons. So yeah, we should get in touch with me. I'd like to take the DT out with your crew. Looks like a yeah. fun bunch of guys. That'll be great. Yeah. You like you like single trail? Yeah, single track, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I like trail. I like I I'm not a big MX track guy anymore. I'm too old for that shit. Yeah, yeah. Right? So um I like the single track trail riding, like that's stuff that you guys do, right? Yeah, yeah. Just standing around shooting the shit. Yeah. With your brand new bike sitting there. Well, anytime, Gary. Up here we can actually ride from one trail to another. I know you, on your DT you got I'm you plated. Lights. Yeah. You're plated in, yeah. In, with lights. Yours is too, right? Is yours no. plate? No. No, your yours is actually Just the trail. the MX. Yeah. Mine's a, mine's the R. So I, I oh. got like the race version of the CRF. Yeah, right on. Perfect. But uh over here we can still ride the road from trail to trail, so like we can go pretty far. Like I live in Barry and we can ride out to Wasega oh. Beach, no problem. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's do that. Yeah. Richard Nicholson wants to know if he made the right choice. He's got 130 horsepower instead of the 180 horsepower. Three grand difference. Oh, you made the right choice. You're going to love it. Yeah. What did he buy? I wonder what he got with 130 horse. 600. 600. Probably, probably not the 900. 900 is no. not naturally aspirated. Naturally That's aspirated. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's great. The 900. Yeah, the uh, the 900 is a great engine, and you you clutch it, it's fine. Like that's a, that our friend Paul has. He put a clutch on his, and it's so quiet. The 900 naturally aspirated, yeah, pretty crazy. So well, actually, the Enduro is still a turbo, Gary. It's just not as uh, powerful. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah, it's not the 900 R. It's just a 900 turbo. It's oh, because like it does say 900 economy. turbo Enduro. Yeah, yeah, so it's an economy turbo yeah. so i wonder if you could actually flash it to to get it back to the way the other one is you probably, want with that. probably, probably less probably. than three grand mm -hmm. probably yeah, you know. in the shocks yeah that's right yeah well yeah uh, on the on the 180 horsepower you got heavier duty uh engine mounts on oh that is it right right I, you probably need them right well i don't have them i <laughs> think mine uh mine's got the stage one tune and it's running fine, but that's the difference I hear. Yeah. 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 So, hey, listen, let's do some fan photos. Stay on the, you guys stay on here and let's, uh, let's check them out. We don't have many of them, but we'll, we'll pound them off here and get them going. And we'll, uh, hold on a second here. I just got to get them the, the right thing up here. Fan photos are brought to you by Fast Track Snowmobile Traction Products. <laughs> Check out fasttrack.co. There you go. Perfect. Everybody's still with us? Good. Good, good, good. So last Thursday night I was on the um I was on the Vintage Snowmobile Lovers podcast. And yes, you were. Everybody here except Ghoulies was was in the chat. Where were you, buddy? <laughs> when last Thursday? <laughs> yeah, last Thursday at 9 p.m. Yeah, no, it was good. And and we lit the chat up. It was pretty awesome. The guy didn't know what to do. Um, he never seen so much activity in the chat. He didn't know how to process it. But I actually, uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> it was I wasn't fun. feeling so good on Thursday. Also, I would have been there too. Oh yeah, you would have been. You would have been really, really in the early stages, right? Yeah. So, but no, it was a. It was actually a neat show. Like he, uh, 
he does things totally different than I do. One thing he runs on a screw, he runs on an agenda and he try, he makes sure he keeps you, you keep on track. There's no horsing around, which we found out. So would he only have like an hour time slot or something, Gary? How come it was like, is that he just, he just keeps it an hour? I wonder if it's a bedtime thing or something, uh, right? Yeah. I, I thought that was hilarious. The, the agenda kept on coming up. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. I felt but, like I mean, it was time warp, but yeah, it, it was good. Like he he did. Like I said, it's different, right? I mean, he has a big Facebook following, and he's built that up. And and I'm I'm more of the YouTube end of things, where he he uses Facebook as the main thing, and the YouTube's just like an afterthought. Where mine is all YouTube, and my podcast parts the afterthought. And and uh, yeah, so it was neat to see how he works, but. The one question on there, uh, a couple weeks ago, I showed a picture of a sled hanging from a tree near our cottage, and it's got no stickers on it, and I was asking what it is, and and uh, I I guessed it that 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 Uncle Buck was going to be able to nail it, and he did. <laughs> oh, the, the black thing that was hanging in the tree, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you yeah. see that picture there? It's a boa ski. That's what that is? Okay. Yeah, but you know what? Like, I thought it was an Evinrude, and the... Um, but the boa ski is slightly different. Like the side vents on this thing, I guess it's there. The side vents, the, the black, were in the picture. But the boa ski's got these little, like, square rectangles between the headlights where that one didn't have. So I don't know whether, maybe maybe I'm right it is an Evinrude, but it might have had the same hood on it. But anyway, I, no, that's I didn't have to. Same. I have a photo of my phone. That's all the same. No, it's actually got. Look at. There's no. See the right beside the headlight there. There's actually here. Let me zoom in if I can. I couldn't find any front. But right. Oh, here, the uh, two little black ones. Right here. Yeah, see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Those are different then. Yeah, it's a little different, but maybe maybe it's a seventy. Like that's a seventy. Else, everything else matches up though on it. I know. The, I know the. Pictures. Yeah. But. Uh, yeah, so anyway, you didn't have to have the right answer. You just had to, to be subscribed to my channel and, and get it. So uh, Renegade X, he, he sent me in the answer. And one other guy sent me in the answer. Oh, yeah. So that would you're going to – we'll, we'll, we'll chat about what you get. So I'm going to give you guys both something from the store. So you can – from the Snowmobile Sessions clothing store. So – We'll figure out what it is, and away we go. And because you clear, because, no, <laughs> I don't sell you clear on the store. But well, listen, geez. Uncle Buck, since you actually got it during the show, but you didn't email me, <laughs> I'll send you something too. Okay, awesome. Or right. Mrs. Uncle Buck. So Mrs. Uncle Buck, she's more deserving than I am. Yeah, maybe I can hit up. Uh, maybe I can hit up DSG for a toque for her or something. There you go. That would make her day. <laughs> But yeah, so that was good. It's it was kind of neat because I just noticed that this year. So it's I took Drew to it the last time we were up at the cottage and he goes, No way, it's been there. Like he, he couldn't believe that that sled's been hanging there so long. You know, it's crazy when you slow down, eh, Gary? I know it is. You yeah. see everything. So these are from Brad Hitchcock, and he's in the chat right now. He said it was some of the best riding he's ever seen in northern Maine. Yeah, look at that trail. That looks awesome. Yeah. Looks like he's in Cochrane. Doesn't it? Yeah. And here's a picture of the world famous sometime is now with his new tea cat, too. Right there. And he's got the thumbs up. Brad, how did that tea cat go? Did your mock Zed uh, blow its doors off or what? Be honest. There's two mock Zeds in that picture. Nice. Brad's is the one with the B2 stingers on it. And there's a it's renegade in Duro there. Whatever, whatever that blue color is for the renegade school. Yeah, yeah. That's the Enduros in that color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty nice. And then this is an abandoned Air Force base north of Caribou. That's a great picture, too. They should open that up and let you ride through it, don't you think? I like it. Ghoulies, what's your favorite things to see on the trails? Like, what do you, 
<laughs> sights to see. You know, we got the sled hanging the tree, and this guy's got the Air Force base. What have you seen? What kind of crap have you seen in your travels? Well, you know, not real big stuff, but I like seeing uh, rock walls and, you know, up high uh, vistas and stuff like that. And I like looking at that stuff. I, oh. We we hardly stop. Like, we like to put down the kilometers. So, yeah, I know we kind of work it out. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we, we like to stop when it's when it's worth it. That's for sure. Yeah. What about you, Renegade X? Have you seen anything interesting in your travels? <laughs> oh, we like to stop and chat. Snow dust. Snow dust. <laughs> Rob, snow dust. <laughs> Sounds yeah. like Gary. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> the, co- the cat is more top end. Yeah. Oh, it would. It's big. No, no replacement for displacement, they say. Yeah. Right? Dominator sent in. I love Dominator. He's always got the good picks. And he emailed me this afternoon going, are you on tonight? And I was like, okay, I'll go on. You're going to send me some pictures? I'll do it. And he says, here's some pics from his final trip of the season. The first tour from Phelps, Wisconsin, up by the UP border. And the last tour from our VRBO on Big St. Germain Lake in Wisconsin. Dominator. Look at all the sleds. I love that what the sportsman lodge is going to look like gary it's going to look like that with all of our Lots fans of yep. an Arctic cat in that one. Oh, there is too what it's is those like more identical is that like a rental thing or something the players sps that are there? polaris yeah. sp yeah is that like a certain year they came out like that or something they're 600s might yeah. be rentals yeah maybe yeah, the rentals are 600s yeah and they got something oh they got numbers on the like windshield that. they got number on the windshield yeah they got to be rentals Mm-hmm. And you got some weird oh, on the sticker. Too. Yeah, it does too. Yeah, yeah. I think all of them have numbers. Mm-hmm. That one with the, you could see it really clearly. Yeah, in the back there. But. Yeah, yeah, for awesome. sure. That's good. At least people are getting out, right? Look at that. That's beautiful. Nice. Says the white and red ones are rentals. There's yeah, there. nice. Perfect. That that enduro drew that nice one, the blue and the and the manta yeah. green. That's Jim's in the chat. Jim Daniels. Nice. That's his enduro. Nice. It's a sick house. A cottage. It is, isn't it? We need a VRB like that, yep. don't we? Airbnb. Yeah, we do. There we go. He even got Rich's sled in the foreground there. Look at the wedge. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, isn't that nice? 500. Yeah. yeah. He's got the muffs on it, too. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are just those big, big ass uh, hand guards. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the the XC. There's uh, your buddy sled drew in the back with the muffs. Oh yeah, yep. Look yep. how jacked up that thing is. It's a later one. That's cool. Yeah. There's a there's an, another XC. Oh, there's another one. Oh, right? I know. That's more like that's more like Cole's there. The white that's one Polaris. There. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's Polaris territory, man. Yeah. Nice. Uh, there's stay a, away from there. Of a huge group. Yeah, that's right. No, we got to go there and dominate. Yeah, yeah. Did you get a chance to try Rich's 850 out this year, Gary? No, I didn't even ride with him this year. Oh, he's avoiding us. That's probably why he's he's uh, been dissing my show lately. Oh goodness! You know. <laughs> but yeah, no, I I haven't I didn't ride with him this year. He he said he liked it. There were some issues. He had the one ride that I seen him on, but he was up north this last weekend. And uh, he's heading back through North Bay today, he said. So Yeah, I know the power valve cable. What's he got there? Oh, he's got some stickers, Corey showing. So. <laughs> yeah, he's had power valve issues with it. So Yeah, I got to hook up with him and get him to autograph my tech vest. Yes, yeah. yes. You're going to devalue it. Well, it's got his name <laughs> on it already. <laughs> yeah, it's actually got his name on it. He bought Rich's... Yeah. Uh, his, his, uh, his old one from the show from, oh, from Peter Peterborough. Those yeah, things, those, yeah, those are both one thousands. That's Tim. Yeah. yeah, but uh, I ran into Tim at the uh, at the Yamaha open house or Yamaha launch uh, last week, and oh, cool. he sent me these pictures. Yeah, so um, yeah, he sent before he he sent us pictures of his dog, and he's he's been on. But this is the unicorn, the silver one. That's a that's a prototype yeah. sled. I, I like both those. Yeah. Yeah. So 
and he's he's been rebuilding them and keeping them on the trail, and he's got that one apart now. Because I remember that guy we ran into, Corey in Sudbury. He said he – what did he say? He had 13 engines? Oh, yeah. yeah he he yeah. just kept he had, buying them because now they don't make them. Can't yeah, he said Ro okay. Rotax doesn't make the block make anymore, so he said he bought the last one off the shelf. And uh, and he said he's got two left. He's got the the very last one Rotax had available, and and one other one in the any whatever it was. You'll hear the story in the trailside chat that we had to, with this guy. But yeah, so I told Tim that, and then Tim goes, "Oh, you want to see mine now?" And he he uh, pulls out his phone and shows me a picture, and the whole the whole engine's apart. He's he's got to rebuild it, but he loves him. Right? What's that? That sounds about right. Yeah, for the one thousand, yeah. and then the the red one's the same. So it's uh, it's, uh, yeah. it's gonna turn out that a lot of those are just gonna be chassis sitting in junkyards because there's no parts <laughs> for them, right? So well, it's a thing. That's the truth, right? It's a sad truth. It's kind of, it's kind of sad. They're they're an interesting machine, but God, yeah. maintenance. The local nightmare. dealer had an auction a few years ago. Before I that was the year I bought my sled. They had the auction at the dealership, and and there was one there that you could have got for I don't know twelve hundred bucks or something like that. Wow. But I know Dino had said, oh, just stay away from those things. It's a time bomb. And I'm going, really? What? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, now you know the history of them, right? It's like the power. That's cool, tech. though, in silver. Holy. Yeah, it's like the P-Tech, right? Some yeah. people had no problems. And most people had not. The bottom end goes. So if Tim's still in the chat, I think this was actually in, um, I think this was in Perry Sound, that I believe. Sweet. And he said that they had like, 20 centimeters of snow or 30 centimeters of snow and it was just insane that they were blasting through but look at that oh isn't that awesome mm -hmm. looks like wasaga last year Gary. it does totally yeah you can't uh you can't go wrong like, with snow like, like the that. leds in that thing too hey eh? like it's a nice looking yeah. machine that's nice yeah he keeps them going but that silver one's kind of cool that's a that's a special one yeah, if it's solid and not powder, yeah, yeah. So that's all the fan photos we had come in, but that was cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's weaned down a lot um, the last few weeks, as you can see by the the response and the chats were down, and you know, so it's like I just appreciate season, it. No one, no one wants to hear it. Everyone's sad. Yeah, no, you're, you're, you could be riding too, right? So yeah. The, uh, you know, it's just, it's Tim that time that of the was, year. Tim um, says that was Perry Sound. That was Perry Sound, yeah, for sure. And that's his son's sled. So they got two two 1,000s, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I've got a hood for a gray unicorn 1,000 if anyone wants to buy it right now in my garage. What? So, yeah. You and do? a top, and I have a top decal from a mini Z as well. Oh, you do, yeah. <laughs> I heard they're yeah, rare. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of cool. But yeah, it's a, it's it's neat seeing all the pictures. The fan photos are still what drives me. So next season, make sure you guys light it up. I think every week we had a little a GoPro. We had a we had a little. Um, you can always take screenshots off of GoPros yeah, too, yeah. right? GoPro, anything, just get them. Yep. In. Get it. Get them in by noon on Mondays. But yeah, it's a the. Uh, this year, there's a couple lean weeks that were like, you know, and that, that makes my week when I have a lot of pictures, you know, from different people and with stories that go with them, right? So Yeah, we want to see you get stuck, broken parts, you know, yeah, yard fails <laughs> in the middle of trails, maybe some maybe some one-legged do's or anything like that. We want to see you, it all. You know yeah. all my pictures, Gary. You're with me. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I've got so many pictures I got to go through yet. And we have to do that off my other cameras, so. But yeah, so yeah, what do we where we left off at Curve Industries? Uh, I'm a true believer in those skis now, and uh, thanks, thank you for for Curve for being on the show that time. Uh, we have uh, then we went into what was that one? The Vintage Snowmobile Podcast. Mike Laporte had him on, and we had Kevin Rot from Robinsons. Kevin from Robinsons was cool. That was neat to talk to another dealer, and he's really he really made himself a a celebrity with all the snow check updates he's still doing them right so the uh and then we had elk lake wilderness resort on that was episode 
57 and episode. Like that yeah, that, that looked good. I actually yeah. had a couple of people send me messages saying that they, they missed the podcast, but they just got back from there and they they definitely go again. So it's uh super he nice went, people. Yeah, he's great. Have who have you been there, there, Uncle Buck? No, we've we've talked to them several times at the Toronto Snowmobile Show, and we've tried to make plans to go up there, but we end up going up to Ox. We spend most of our winters up at Oxtong Lake and just touring the Muskoka Trail. So, yeah, I like that never area. Been able to do it. Yep, I like that area. Well, I'd booked a. I I met them at the Snowmobile Show back the last show they had in twenty. 19 or 2019 and then we had that kind of iffy spring so i drew and i were wanting to get one last ride in so i phoned and booked a room and then we ended up having snow in port sydney so i didn't we didn't end up going and uh but i had a hoot with him and his wife at the snowmobile show yeah but then yeah i was and trying to get him to, i was trying to get him to give me some accommodations for uh for this year but it, it didn't fly yeah <laughs> we'll work it out yeah you always can try that's right no there's no harm in trying right yeah. but no he's good so and there it sounds like their food is amazing too like someone had commented on that stove that she's got and said that she's a hell of a cook but, so i'll get up there at one point you know but uh yeah so and then we had jinxie boy on that was a good show that was just last week and it was he was fresh off the gen 5 xrs so it's nice to hear his opinion on that but uh and then we're that brings us to the season finale today which is kind of cool so Ooh, did anybody me. get a chance to try the lynx rave yeah we did last year last yeah, year we last did year. they didn't really change them that much though for this year at least i don't think so maybe they did some yeah it looks the same i think just graphics i yeah, like the is. new i must say the new graphics though look amazing i think that like the, the with the brand like the shopping list, like brand name thing. The shopping the list. Yeah, that's what bread, cars, right? bread, milk, cheese. Yeah. Well, that's what's calling cars is a shopping list. And you have like yeah. all your brands that you're, you yeah. represent. Just, yeah, like that stuff. Like yeah. That. Like and they that, did that yeah. on the Iron Dogs. And I think that's really cool. I think that was a nice fre- way to freshen yeah. up those slides because they're kind of, I like them. I think they're interesting for, uh, you mean that? That's awesome. Not at all, doesn't he? <laughs> Yeah. Those are yeah, the I energy. I, I like the links. It's an interesting, they're an interesting sled, right? Like, just because they're born in a, such a different mindset of, of engineering and snowmobiling. Yeah, that yeah. It's weird when they come over here. But Neil Owen says it's the best trail sled he's ever ridden. He, he owns one. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Did he try the 850 XRS? What's that? He owns one. He has. He had Does? one of each. He's got a mock and oh, a. Okay. You know, oh yeah, Neil's a rider. No, I said, man. I, like XRS. Like yeah, he like, did. Yeah, boring. not. Like, no, he he had the the previous one that Corey had. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a, he yeah. loves the Lynx. The Lynx is a is a machine. It's coolies. Yeah. You'd rock on a Lynx. I would love to have one. Like uh, I I almost feel sad that I got the XRS instead of the Lynx. <laughs> Trip to Finland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Just talked to one of those Lester at, uh, I ran into him at Dorset, and he was riding one, and he's never been uh, a huge fan of how the Skidoo handles. But he absolutely loved that Lynx. Yeah. I think you're going to find that they're better fans of Skidoo handling now that they're sponsored by Skidoo. <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're never a fan of the people that aren't lying in their pockets. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah. I've, had, I've had the opportunity to be with them for like a whole day and talk, you know, without. And the cameras. They're, they're pretty. Um, honest on their opinion uh, I'll yeah they, they, they do take a lot of they do take a lot of they do take a lot of crap from the fans that's for sure absolutely for yeah sure. they, they, do. they get a little upset that they're not allowed to have an opinion <laughs> no it, it's true right yeah it's true so but that's the thing i mean it is what it is yeah neil Owen has had a bunch of xrs yes he has a bouquet we'll call it a bouquet neil yeah just Neil, did you click the – Neil should click the link. He's good on camera. Here you go, Neil. Any, anyone else in the chat? I just, I'm just calling out names here because I know they've been on before. But anybody else wants to click that link, hop on, say hi. You know? Neil can tell us about the the uh, the Mach Z compared to the – the uh, no seeing it on the cameras. But, yeah, the, um, the, the links was freaking fun. 
it's a it's a wheelie happy machine man but yeah it's it's, it's one of those things i think that uh with a little bit of setup it would be awesome and i and i know neil has done that he had sherard look at it so you, you can't go wrong right so skis just look a little funny because how big they are they're like freaking you know i mean my skis look goofy too but it's almost a mountain ski on on yeah the, i think that's lake. what it more skis you know, by, no, I, it would probably it'd probably be all right i found that they weren't on the ground enough <laughs> i think i think you'd have to try it for a day on a trail to actually get a good idea of what they're like doing wheelies yeah. in a field is uh a lot different than well it was yeah. a trail I, I just found that the no, trail but i'm saying like you know you go yeah. for a day like up in Sudbury, 300 kilometers is a lot no i know you'd get like used to the steering on it pretty fast i found that you couldn't have any any throttle input in a turn because it was so playful in the front that yeah. it would be deadly in a turn but the uh as what soon as you get out as soon as you get throwing, out of the turn yeah what throwing sparks just said there rob 850 motocross bike like i yeah. will actually i'll actually say yes i read a i wrote a buddy of mine just bought a ktm 500 exc uh enduro bike i'm gonna say they're exactly the same front wheel never on the ground <laughs> yeah are you on your phone are you on a phone neil there's neil owen no, i'm on my ipad Jerry. oh turn it sideways and then you'll fill the screen. So, yeah, I think that Boom, there you go. Isn't that bike. better? Perfect. Power motocross bike. And Neil, someone asked about the... Uh, shut your YouTube off now, too, Neil. My YouTube's on it. Boom, there you go. Oh, he's got it on the TV. He's watching us on the big screen. Nice. There we Neil, go. someone asked about New Brunswick, too. You want to give a give a rundown of your New Brunswick experience? Sure. Um I've rid just for reference, I've ridden the UP of Michigan quite a bit, most of Ontario, all of Quebec, and now New Brunswick, and I would say they are the best trails I've ever ridden. Oh. The uh, They would compete with Quebec in terms of the wide and the grooming. Uh, there's more elevation changes, uh, more, more scenery, and the signage is out of this world. There's no way you can get lost. Or That's insane. All the little lodges along the way have uh, food and fuel, so it, it's just an awesome place to ride. Yeah, that's what do you got on your lap? Is your dog there with you? <laughs> your cat? Is that so? <laughs> oh, it's a pillow. <laughs> that's funny. I, it was I was gonna say, Neil, you have to shave your legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long winter, Gary. <laughs> Throwing Sparks wants to know if you've got a destination suggestion for New Brunswick. Um, well, all of well, it. A bunch. Uh, we started in Edmonston, which is in the the northwest corner, and you could, the Seventeen Trail on is probably the nicest trail I rode. Um, it, it's through the through uh, Moose Valley. And that probably doesn't mean a lot to people, but it's up and down and wide and uh, lots of scenic uh, stops. The the other place, um, if you want to go and just do day trips, would be Bathurst. The Atlantic Coast is probably the nicest place I've ever stayed. They got fuel right on site. The restaurant's good. The people were friendly. Um, is that the one with all the garages that you sent a picture of? No, the one with all the garages is in Edmonston. That's yeah. the Grey Rock. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. And what was that lookout? Fred's Fred's backyard. Fred, yeah, Fred's place. Okay, uh, go to throwing sparks. You got to go to Fred's place. <laughs> yeah, that's an awesome spot. I I would love to go there on ATV because I expect there's big parties that happen there in the fall time when hunting's on. Really? Yeah, Fred's place looks great. Yeah. And at, what's it, that close to? Uh, probably the closest place would be. Edmonston, or sorry, um, uh, Bathurst. It's about maybe an hour's snowmobile ride from Bathurst. Is that in the Christmas Mountains, Neil? No, it's it's quite a bit north of the Christmas Mountains. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, we only got to experience the northern half of New Brunswick this year because the snow conditions to the south were pretty limited. Um and got skinny when we got down there, but uh, so we came back north again. But there's, I don't know how many kilometers of trails they have, but we certainly didn't didn't scratch the surface of them in two weeks that we were there. Wow. 
how many miles did you get? So Brad Hitchcock, he's a fellow mock owner. He wants to know how many miles you got on your mock and how did you like it? Uh, just under 6,000 kilometers. Um, so what's that in miles? Uh, 4,000, 4,200. Uh, yeah, 4,000 miles. It's a very capable sled. Um, it, it, I'm, I'm a two-stroke guy. After 6,000 kilometers, I'm a two-stroke. I like my links better. I can't say enough about the smart shocks, but I the weight of the four-stroke and the, um, the lack of, uh, how would I describe it? it? It's not playful. You just sit on it and ride, and it goes like hell. Um, somebody mentioned earlier about getting the traction. I think it was Gooley. Yeah, it was Ghoulies, Mike. Yeah. Yep. I concur with him. That thing's got more power, and in, in, I've got studs in it, and I still am track spinning most of the time when I nail it. If that's wow. Still. Yeah. Well, that links, well, that links, your links will hook up. Yeah. Yeah. The Lynx is a faster sled than the Mach up to yeah, about sure. <laughs> maybe 6,000 RPM, and then at 6,000, the Mach just will start pulling away from it. Jeez, eh? They look fun. The the the, uh, the mock and the, the 900 R turbo look look fun on mid top. They look they look snarly, right? What you say? It's sneaky power is what you described it. Yeah, it's sneaky fast. You you, you just push the throttle and it, it all of a sudden you're like you're going mock speed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, there's no noise to it really compared to an 850. The 850 has a lot more noise as it spools up, where the the mock just a little bit of a whine that kicks in. Yeah, you know what? I we were we were trading sleds last ride we did, Neil, and and you can you can attest to this having both. But the the two stroke eight fifty compared to the four strokes, where the four stroke felt like you were being pushed, where the eight the, the eight fifty feels like it's pulling you along. Like it, it yeah. is that a phenomenon or is that just me or? No, I think that's a fact of the heavier four stroke. Yeah, like it it, it felt like you're like it was yeah. pushing you, like somebody was was pushing on your back and lots of power and torque, but the 850 just feels like it's, it's, it's pulling from, yeah. Like it's pulling. Yeah. The 850 is torquier. So when you hit some of those potential jumps on the trails, you, you can, you can light it up and lift it into the air pretty easily where the, the mock's a lot harder to get it into the air. Um, yeah. The 850 dominator was asking if the 850 motor is the same, right? Yeah, the 850 and the Skidoo is the same. The difference is that uncoupled rear skid and the shocks and everything else, right? Like, what do you what do you think? Like, you went from an XRS 850, like the 2022 or 2021, to the Lynx. What's what's your opinion? The uh, the Lynx is a is a more fun sled to ride. Now you have to work the Lynx around the corners. There's no doubt about that. You got to move your body around. Um, and if you're prepared to do that, I think it's it's a more capable sled than the XRX. The XRX is on rails going around corners, and you don't have to do much other than steer it. Um, so I'm not saying the Lynx is a better sled. What I'm saying is it's a different setup, and it depends on what you're looking for in a ride. The shocks don't compare that come on the Lynx, though. Those are, those are fantastic shocks. And if you want to play with them and adjust them, then... They're better shocks than any other sled on the market today. Wow! Did did John have a look at your links? Yes, he he. And uh, what did he what did he do? Uh, on the links, let me think here. What did he do? He reduced the um, um, preload on the front shocks, increased the preload on the back, and uh, we left the high speed, low speed, and dampening pretty much the way I had it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And it, it actually handles pretty good in turns, or do you still have to be careful on the throttle? Like the, when I took the demo out, it, was, it wasn't set up to the point that whatever we did on the trail that day, right? But Yeah, no, it, 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 it goes around the corners pretty easily. I don't have any issue with inside ski left or pushing or uh, you know worrying about being on the throttle too soon or coming in too hot. Um, it, once, the, once we got the uh, shock set up, um, properly, or at least for my weight, it, it um, I'm pretty comfortable with the way it handles the corners. Nice, it's awesome. Did you, did you order another sled for next year, Neil? I did not, um, no. because of the fact that uh, I wasn't sure what I was doing with the mock, but I think the mock will get replaced in 2023. Yeah, 
There you go. So yeah, you did. <laughs> you did a lot of mileage, though, right? Like you're that is you're kind of on the fence, right? I, yeah, I wanted to be fair to the four stroke because when I first wrote it, I wasn't comfortable. I was not that I wasn't comfortable. I didn't enjoy it, and I wrote it for. I got put fourteen hundred kilometers on the links first, and then I put the other six thousand. And I never put never rode the links again until. Well, I haven't ridden it since the fourteen hundred, but. Um, I just wanted to be fair to the four stroke because it is a learning curve for us that have been on two strokes most of our life or all of our life, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's saying it's a different, it's a different animal, so to speak. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. what we noticed. We rode the four stroke because that the power, the way the power is comes on is a little bit yeah. different, you know, so different than riding a two stroke dirt bike versus a four stroke dirt bike though. They each have their own riding style. Yeah. Yeah. It, so. But I mean, and that's not even the turbo. The turbo just looks snarly. I love it. I love the. I love seeing it in videos when it lights up. Well, we were playing with it on one of the straightaways in in New Brunswick called Piston Alley, and uh, I let her rip there once, and we hit 197 um, before I backed it off, and that was kilometers for those from the states. So. Wow. And wow. it still it still had more room to go. If I had a I had to let it run a little farther. I'm sure it would have got over 200. Yeah, geez. <laughs> Love it. And that's the thing. You could hold it there all day, too, not like absolutely. a two-stroke, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. And throwing Sparks says, in his honest opinion, the mock is a keeper, like a classic muscle car. He, yeah. he's, he's right. It's it's a GT racer, not a, not a funny car is how I describe it to people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's a lot for sale. I see on uh, marketplace Kijiji. Yeah, I think that's opportunistic people more so. Yeah, than, yeah could like the be prices that they want for these things. I mean, it's what I mean. It's it's it makes sense because the the market right now and what those were worth when you bought them. But people want like ridiculous amounts for these sleds. It's, uh, yeah, yeah it's much more about it's, that. It's the nature of the industry too, right? Uh, Brad Hitchcock says his girlfriend rode my mock once and sold her 21 X RS eight fifty and got a mock. There you go. Flippers throwing his parts. Yeah. And yeah. You know, I, we've got friends that are, are uh, big sidewinder fans and they wrote it when we were in uh, New Brunswick and they had to admit that it was a better riding sled that, in their opinion than their sidewinders. But the sidewinders do have more top end than the mock does. Yeah, for sure, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But there's no no substitute for the smart shocks, and I wonder what the weight difference feel is. Like it's even a different, it's even different ergonomics. Like it seems like the mock is more upright and and more ground clearance than say the the uh, the sidewinder would have. I think sorry. we just lost. There's Neil. Oh, there no, is. sorry, I, I must have hit a button. Yeah. You hit the button again. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you can hear me, yeah. but I'm going to sign off. We got it. No, we got it. We can hear you. No, hey, Neil, thanks for all your support uh, this season, and we're looking forward to next season. Really appreciate you having in the chats and sending in your photos and everything when you do. Nope. He's, he's gone. gone. <laughs> yeah, he's having some problems. No, he's a good guy. Neil's a really good guy. He was in the beer spa weekend too. He'll be up at the Sportsman Lodge. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. That's he's a still, haul. He's still there. Oh, we got him again. <laughs> there he is. He's still there. You with us? Are you with us? No. That's see that's seniors and technology right there. <laughs> 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 he's gone. That got rid of him. Oh, geez. Uh, no, Neil's a really good guy. We ran into him a lot. Corey and I had lunch with him last fall before the season started. And he's always he's, at the energy uh, events. Yeah. Events, yeah. Yeah. He's a he's a good guy. Yeah. Really supportive too. But yeah. But no, I I that's all I have to say. I mean, I I don't mind letting you guys off the hook, and we'll call it a night. You know, I but I appreciate every one of you guys. Everyone watching, but these—it's the, funny. The people that came on screen are really the uh, 
the core fans of the group, right? You know, the names you recognize from the the ride weekend and and everything. So Dominator says it's nice to see what we all look like. That's great. <laughs> Coffee, water, beer, come in. You just join in late. I want to say thanks for all the content this season. Season Mud Brats, he loved it. No, that's great. Coffee, water, beer. Thanks for tuning in. And Neil Owen says sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I want to thank Gary for uh, you know occupying my Monday nights. <laughs> for sure, I don't have to deal with the kid and the wife. So yeah, you know. for sure. Yeah, <laughs> Mrs. Uncle Buck and I have enjoyed them all. Yeah. Oh, we enjoy we enjoy seeing you guys. And you know what? When we went down to Peterborough, and all you guys were there, it was like that was um, that was freaking awesome. That's you a know? great show, Peterborough show. Yeah, it's a. Uh, Definitely, it was neat to see because we haven't had any shows. And Corey and I walked the motorcycle show yesterday, and it was kind of the same thing. It was grassroots, and they they basically have had, you know, trade shows are just starting up, right? So it was one sh one hall was cut off, the other two halls were open. It, there wasn't any manufacturers there except Energy, really, any brands per se. A and lot Harley, of custom, and, yeah. Harley was there, yeah. A lot of custom stuff, right? So um it's uh it's it was it's nice to see the event happen and be part of it but to, to we got a long way to go in canada for shows yet you know? we'll be at the toronto show okay. yeah we'll be at the toronto show i'm gonna be going live from the toronto show in the energy booth and snowmobile or television's talking to me about some stuff so that'll be pretty cool so i'm looking forward to this season three it's gonna be great right neil Absolutely. Sorry about that, guys. I don't yeah. know what you did there. No, no, no problem. No, we we're just we we're. I was just saying how much we appreciate you and your support of the show, and we were saying that you're always at the energy events too, and you're a good supporter for energy and fast track studs. You bought the stud kits from them. Oh yeah. Well, thanks, and and I, you know, having got six thousand kilometers on those studs, I can absolutely tell you. I'll be buying those studs again. They are, right on. they don't show anywhere at all. And um, they're actually great studs. I'm happy with them. So, yeah. Thank you, Gary, just, I heard comment there about the wheeling on the links. I think the learning curve that I had on that was shifting my weight forward and back as opposed to just side to side. If you move your, your weight forward just a little bit, the skis don't lift nearly as much. That's probably true, right? Like I, I bet you could get used to it. I just found in the short time we had it, we didn't go far on it at all, right? Yeah, and that sled wasn't set up very well. I don't it know. wasn't, no. Yeah. No, so Brad Hitchcock says, best show on Monday nights. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> What's the date of the Toronto show? It's probably like October it, 20th. It's something. usually like the 20th, the 21st 25th, that weekend. 25th, yeah. yeah. Like, that, like the second to last weekend of October before Halloween yeah. is usually when they run it. We'll uh, we'll be starting this. Uh, I'll be starting this show probably end of September, early October, and we'll uh, we'll be announcing that too. So, but uh, Dominator says it's the only show we watch us. What's that? Any any plans for summer there for this show? I got summer just sessions? for sure for sure one. MJ and I are going to do the Kaplan America thing in a week or so. Um, I just got to nail him down, and then I don't know. It's it's a lot of work and summer's tough, man. It's warm out and sunny oh, yeah. and you know, so we'll see. But yeah. Greg Gregory Kelly says, Yeah, thanks, Gary, and you lads enjoy the off season. Snowstorm says, Great. Uh yeah, best show Monday nights. Good info, good info, Neil. Um, can I share my email? D hit me at fanphoto at mudbrats.com. That's the easiest way to reach me. Uh yeah, so it's a uh, no, like I love the chats how everybody's chatting about not even about the show just turn it on and let you guys run wild it's fun to see you know you all talking about your own things and it, uh, it it's really interesting to see how many friendships not only i've made but other people have made through this show gary it, it's a it's a real testament to what you've created here too and, and, uh, keep it up keep up good work it's funny i've i've heard that too from even even what was that it was uh um oh man i'm I'm sorry i'm drawing a blank he, he uh was it Mike he, from sled, sled 509 no no the the guy the guy from the states uh james the arctic cat guy james no no the the uh he lives right around the corner from pasty boy 
Oh. What's it? Sloby. Sloby. Sloby and, and, and Pasty Boy's brother live around the corner from each other and didn't know it. And then they get talking in the chat one time and they realize that they're neighbors. Isn't that insane? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Bobby O says, thanks for all your videos and shows. Gary, best place to hear stories and lies. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The BS. Yeah. Great season. Can't wait for next year. Skidoo 600 R says, Ross McPherson, great show, boys. Enjoy Monday nights and fan photos. I enjoy the fan photos too, but you guys got to keep feeding them to me, man, so that we can share them and show them. So, yeah, we got the... Yeah, the date of the Toronto show it, that we already talked about that, but yeah, it's uh, it's cool. No, it's good. I I enjoy it. I miss it when I don't do it, and and uh, and that's the thing. It's like a void, you know. We would have had sixty episodes, so here's the deal. I kind of planned it, and we would have had sixty episodes, but the episode we canceled was the Beer Spa Live, and that would have been sixty. Isn't that crazy? So. We're going to have to do an extra one next season to make up. We should have done, uh, done it in Sudbury, Gary. I know. We're going to do it next year in Sudbury. Yeah, yeah. Neil Owen, are you coming to Sportsman Lodge next year, 2023? Absolutely. I yeah. Am. So we're working on it. It's going to be epic. It's going to be great. There's, <laughs> yeah. there's going to be snow. And it's yeah, not going to get the date, Get the date picked, Gary, so we all get it in our calendar. We will. I will. And we'll announce it the very first episode coming up. Yeah. So... No, we will. It'll be February because we want to make sure there is snow. <laughs> but uh, and then we're going to try. We'll do it on a weekend so that people don't have to take as many days off work. Right. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Gary, yeah. I'm uh, I'm running out of uh, battery here. My iPad's going to die on me, but I just want to say thank you as well for everything. And it's nice meeting all you guys here as well. And uh, even though it was most of it was virtual, but but uh, anyways, like I say, I'm running out of out of juice here, so I'm going to have to go. But appreciate it, guys. Yeah, yeah for sure. Oh, thank time. you, Pro Polaris. That's awesome. And we'll chat this summer. Dominator wants to know if we'll do a UP trip. It's reliable for snow. I'd love to do the UP. It looks amazing. Yeah. I'd love to go yeah. back. Yeah, for sure. And, we, and Dominator will be the guide for sure. That'd be fun. But yeah, it's uh, no. I again, thank you, everybody. It's it's not me. It's you guys keep me going every week, and that's that's the nice thing about it. So, no, yeah. this 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 season's been amazing, week in and week out. You've been putting on awesome shows, Gary. It's awesome. Yeah, awesome Thanks, thing man. you have going on here. But like, it's it's amazing, man. Yeah, we had we had a good we had a good run this year. It was like we we were hitting grand slams right out of the park, right through up through Christmas. No no problem getting people on. People hear of us now. They know me and they they know the show, so it's easier to get guests to come on. I think the first year you're always leery about what what you're going to get involved in, right? And uh, yeah, so we did we did good. So and I mean, there's still lots of companies out there that that we can bring in vendors and destinations and things like that. So yeah, stay tuned. If you guys ever have any suggestions, I mean, Tony cat was instrumental in getting two or three of those guests that we had this year. Um, we had uh, Corey Brock help me with, with uh, Corey Jinx and Neil Owens set up uh, the, the, uh, the OFSC and New Brunswick came really close, but then they, they realized they didn't have the technology to play, but we'll get them on in the fall. Um, but yeah, it's like, I love it when guys like you guys say, Hey, listen, I got an in here, talk to this person and, and th- we make it happen. Right. So, cause it's a, it's a pain setting up week after week. It's, it's, it involves me chasing people for days. And then by Thursday you get a commitment and then you hope to have images and stuff for Monday. And then that's why my Mondays are so crazy. Right. So, yeah, but yeah, if you like, keep that in mind, if you have anybody that we should be talking to, I don't even mind reaching out to them over the summer just to set it up, just to say, listen, are you interested in doing something like this and what months are better? Cause some, some businesses are busy. The other problem I had this year was the supply chain screwed up a lot of people. So I had some companies yeah. that were wanting to come on, but we're going like, no point coming on because I have nothing to I sell. I got no product to sell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, so hopefully that settles down as uh, as the, the new season starts and we can rock and roll, get back, get back to normal, so to speak. So, yeah. But 
No, I appreciate all you guys. If you haven't subscribed, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on this video, and uh, and also follow up with me on Instagram because I'm I'm posting there more now, and you can see a lot of the epic stuff you don't see on the show, right? So, but uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Corey's got the toys out. He's got the toy. Yeah. So, but yeah, thanks again, guys. Every one of you guys. And Corey, you've been instrumental in a lot of stuff as well. The energy connection has been great from the get-go. And, you know, just the super chats and everything. I really appreciate that. Yeah. So, no, it's good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, let's call it a night. I'm going to roll the credits. And, uh, thanks, and, Gary. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Stay yeah, in touch. Night, and we'll, yeah, for sure. And stay in touch. Hey, and we'll... Uh, <laughs> We'll talk about next season. So, Sportsman <laughs> Lodge 2023. Yeah, you got it. Down it's going to happen. <laughs> well, I Down hope the trail. Some mudding this summer, at least a few shows, Gary. Yeah. For, oh, we'll no. Find, I'm going to be we'll, doing. We'll find stuff to do. We'll find stuff. I'm going to be doing videos. I'm not sure. Well, well I'll probably get on and do the live because the live thing's fun. Um, yeah. You know, so it's uh, last year was just kind of random. So we'll see. Yeah. Wait till you see the dirt bike show I've got, the the motorcycle show I got coming up uh, in a week or so. So I'm hoping it's next Monday. So stay tuned yeah. for that. Watch I watch will. your alerts because it's going to be kick ass. So. All right. See okay, you. we're going to end good. this. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care, everybody. Yeah, take care, guys. Hey, Mrs. Uncle Buck. <laughs> we'll chat at you. Bye-bye. It's a journey for life and I'm your right. Hang on. Awesome.